Cops have a habit of escalating simple situations into moments of chaos, but sometimes things go pretty bad for them as well. Today, we'll be going through some cases where corrupt cops got some quick karma, just like this tyrant cop who is put in his place by his juniors. He doesn't realize that I'm there. He's just sitting there texting. You doing all right? You doing okay? You're working? Okay. Huh? Oh, I was trying to see if you were okay. I don't know, you were I'm not harassing you. I'm checking to see if you're okay. You what? Don't come me, sir. I'm not harassing you. Trust me. Sergeant Jack from the Miami Police Department was the one sitting inside who got angry at the auditor for shining his flashlight into the car. Don't come harassing me. Pardon? Don't come over here harassing me. I'm not harassing you. Where do you live at, sir? <laughs> Where do you live at? <laughs> what a punk. Yeah, he's trying to say I'm harassing him. It's a guy. It's an old white dude. We got flashlights too. Really? Really? I can play the flashlight game too, bro. Hmm? I'll just come over here then. You dude. The sergeant soon started to act like a child as he tried to shine his flashlight towards them, almost blinding them. However, this wasn't enough to satisfy his ego as he soon got out of his car and confronted the auditor. What? What's your ID? I'm not harassing you. You're harassing me. How am I harassing I'm you? I'm gonna show you right now. How am I harassing you? 1130? You're gonna find out. How am I harassing you? You're shining your light in my police car. You were so you just I was asking if you were okay. okay. Why would you ask me that? I'm a police officer. Why are you asking for I'm okay? Do I need you? Am I not allowed I'm to ask if the job. police are okay? Why are you asking for I'm okay? 1130. You're gonna find out. Can you send me a couple of units here at the Coltree Park on 61? Am I not allowed to ask if a police okay. officer is okay? You're gonna find out. I'm gonna find out? Yeah, you're gonna find out. Yeah. What does that mean? You're harassing me. I'm not harassing you. Yes, you are. Yes, uh, over well, the auditors had not done anything wrong, but the sergeant's ego had been hurt pretty bad. He continued to intimidate the auditors and called for more officers to the scene. I literally uh, asked if you were okay. You're flashing your light in my car. You're harassing me. Is that something normal people do? Go up to the car and flash lights in the car? I was asking if you were okay. Is that normal people things do? I was asking if you were okay. Where you got them? Let me see your IDs. No. Let me see your IDs. I don't have my ID on me. Okay, you need to get out of here then. Okay. You have ID. You have to be in those streets if, of Florida. If we're free okay? to go, if you have to have an ID. You have to be on the street. Yes, you do. You need to ID yourself. No, okay. unless we committed a crime. Be quiet. No, not at all. Problem. Okay. You have to have ID. What's your name and badge? I don't have ID on me. Okay. Sergeant Jack, what's your you name? What's your ID You're gonna number? You're going to find out real soon. What's your ID okay. number? Okay. You're going to find out real soon. What's your ID number? You're going to find out real soon. Look, look what you're doing to this house right here. Why do you care? Where do you live at? What do you mean? Where do you live at? It doesn't matter. Where do you live at? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. Well, you're in a neighborhood harassing the police officer. No, I'm not it harassing. Matter. I literally was asking if you were okay. You're the one that you're escalated this. You're going to find out. Literally asked if you were okay. Out. Okay. I'm okay. I'm working. The sergeant then demanded their ID, hoping the auditors would give in. However, he had no idea that they had more knowledge of the law than him. However, Jack didn't seem to care about the laws as he kept on harassing him. Because I've seen you here for a while and I was just making sure you're okay. I'm in my zone. Why is it your business? Because I'm allowed to ask if you are okay. Why is it your business? Wow. I mean, what is your problem, dude? We're going to find out. I say you're I literally, okay, you, yeah, you say, I asked car. if you were okay. You are harassing me. What did I ask you? I asked if you were okay. You. Okay, you're going to find out. You're harassing me. I literally asked if you were okay. Where's your ID? Okay, where's your ID? Because you're so smart. Where's your ID? Huh? I don't have my ID. Where's your ID? I don't have it on me. I need all your ID. I'm going to check you out right now. I need your ID, sir. I need your ID. Give me your ID. Give me your ID. I need your ID. Literally, okay, real quick. Can I talk to you real quick? Can I have your name? 
I asked Give me him. your ID. I don't have my ID on me. Yeah, you have to have ID on the street as an adult. Okay? No, not to if be on the street. If you know so much you're recording, you should know that. Okay. Not to be on the streets. It's only right for driving. Right here. Hey, what, 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 what crime am I being suspected Okay, put your phones out. You're, you're getting investigated right now. Okay. What crime am I being suspected They came here arresting. Okay. The backup had arrived, and that's when the auditor tried to explain to them what had happened earlier. Even the arriving officers didn't find anything wrong with the incident. Can I talk to you, please? This guy is, like, freaking out. Okay, I asked him if he was okay. I was walking around. I noticed he's been sitting here for a while. I didn't know if sometimes people fall asleep. I wanted to make sure he was okay. But I, I wasn't asked, sleeping. I, I, all I did was turn my flashlight okay. on because I was looking. Came in my car, and he's like, my well, why are you harassing, harassing me? me? I said, are you okay? And he harassing was like, me. he was like, what are, you, what are you doing? I was like, are you okay? I'm just checking to see if you're okay. And he starts freaking, freaking out on us. He says, you're going to find out. You're going to find out. You're going to find out. Start threatening us. Literally just checking to make sure everything was okay. Just as the auditors were explaining the situation, Sergeant Jack went over to intimidate and harass the other auditor who had not even approached him. I hope so. I don't know. This guy is escalating it, man. Yeah. Give me one second, okay? Yep. I'm on a sidewalk filming him, sir. I don't have a flashlight, sir. I didn't break the law. I didn't break the law. I didn't break a law, sir. No, I didn't. I'm on a public sidewalk filming. No. You're harassing me. No. I need your ID. Filming a public official is not harassing me. Sir. Well, literally, like, what is this? Can I talk? I don't have a flashlight, sir. What you talking about? I don't have a flashlight. Your friends were harassing I don't have. He has. I have nothing to do with him. I'm my own person. What? Take your camera back, please. Back. I need your ID. Stop coming near my I camera. I'm not, I didn't break a law. I have to break a law for you to ID this me. This guy's arresting me. I didn't ID. No. Mr. Sergeant Jack, they know who I am. Everybody, I don't care who you are. Stop the harassing me. I'm not harassing you. You came here faster than my car. I did. I did. Okay. I have everything on okay. camera. And, and sir, harassing me is a specific statute in the state of Florida. Who are you to cut my car? Jack was trying his best to portray himself as a victim, as he considered himself too entitled for a person to even view his car. Surprisingly, he was not done yet and continued with his painful rant. Bro, Escalated this, called you guys, code I three, all that. There was no reason for this. You know he's able to see videos. Well, yeah, but I'm just trying to make sure he was okay. I mean, you have better just you? asking if he was okay. You've been sitting here for a while. Do you have anything better than me? Literally, you're just checking. It's, it's not illegal. Who are you to come harass me? I'm not her. Why are you, why are you fixing Look, it on the fact that I'm trying to harass you? Do I go to people's cars and fast my light in their cars for no, no reason? Yeah, you do probably. No, I don't. Not for no reason. I get sent there. Okay, you don't You don't. You don't, you don't ever walk officer. around. You literally just shown a flashlight into these people's houses. You're what are you talking officer. about? Who are you to cut my car? Flash and light my car. Is it illegal to fucking walk around with okay. a flashlight? Who are you to do that? You're not a police officer. I'm, a, I'm a concerned citizen. citizen. Okay, and I'm working. Okay, I'm working. and I was checking to make sure you are okay. You even so why don't here, you man. calm down you with don't, the don't attitude? Don't because here. I've been polite you with you. You don't even live here. You don't even you know don't that. Even live here. You don't even know identify that. Identify yourself then. Where you live at? Where's your I ID? don't have to identify myself. Where's your ID? 901.151 states I do not have to identify myself. I am done talking to you. You're harassing me. Go 10-8, dude. Go 10-8. I am done with you. Me. After hearing both sides of the story, the officers realized that the sergeant was in the wrong. That's when they decided to remove him from the scene despite his resistance. You need to go 10-8, man. I know that. I know who they are. I know exactly you who they are. Know, you don't know exactly who they are. You my car. Put your light in my car. That's I was standing right man. there on the sidewalk, so good luck, bro. That's a lie. This guy I was standing right, right there on the sidewalk. Car. Right in front of my car. Really? I got body right camera and everything. Right in front of my car. That's where you you're are. You're a punk, dude. You give police officers a bad name, dude. You're really? a punk. Because yes. you're antagonizing me? I no, because you're antagonizing me. You were the one that freaking huh? set off on you us. You came dude. here to bother me and my job. That's ridiculous. I'm bro. working. Why are you here? Because you've been sitting here for a while. Why are you here? First Amendment right. You've been sitting here for a while. And I wanted to make sure you were okay. He's not, though. Why are you here? Officer safety. I was trying to make sure you were okay. You have nothing better to do. First Amendment right. You have nothing better to do. First Amendment right. You have nothing better to do. First Amendment right. to record you in your duty. You're not harassing me. No? Okay, cool. It was embarrassing for the sergeant to be corrected by his juniors, but it was the perfect karma he could have gotten. Soon after, the officer apologized to the auditors, acknowledging that they were right in what they did. I'm Officer Sandoval. I'm advising you. I never caught your name. I know you want to identify yourself. You are not detained. You can walk off at any point. Okay, cool. Thank you. Hey, by the way, hey, sir. Thank you very much for your professionals. I'll give you a fist bump, man. Holy What a... Sergeant Jack, Miami Police Department. Very unprofessional. That was ridiculous, man. 
absolutely ridiculous. Yo, let's go. We're not being detained. They just said that. We're not being detained. You got 214204. You got 213232. The officers then proceeded to calm down the sergeant before they all left the scene, leaving the auditors alone. Hopefully, the tyrant sergeant learned his lesson to never overstep the boundaries of the law. Sergeant Jack, Miami Police Department. Oh no, look, we're making them actually have to go and do work. That was a stump, bro. This guy should be fired. What, you gonna run him over? I don't know. Hey, hey it's really nice because pedestrians have right away. Squawks. What a fucking tyrant. The sergeant got the perfect karma and will surely think twice before intimidating someone like this. Well, if you think this officer got humbled, the next tyrants were served with instant karma. No, you make sure you get back in your car and you're dismissed and get out of here. How about that? Okay, what's your badge number? I don't need to provide his badge what's number. What's your badge number? So at All this right. point, you guys are dismissed, babe. You're out of here. Yeah. In January 2021, First Amendment auditor and YouTuber named Bay Area Transparency decided to conduct a First Amendment audit at the Yolo County Sheriff's Office. However, just as he was taking some pictures, a deputy came over to confront him. How you doing? All right, how about you? You're good. Cool. Can I help you with something? What was that? Can I help you with something? No, I'm good. What are you doing taking pictures of? What's that? So why are you taking pictures of stuff? I was just taking pictures. What was that? What's your name, bud? Did I do something wrong or something? I'm just asking. You're taking pictures of stuff, so I'm just asking. Just taking pictures. Okay. And I'm just asking what your name is. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Okay. So you gonna give me your name or? Well, I don't know why I have to. Did I do something wrong? I don't I'm understand. Just suspicious of taking pictures of stuff, so I'm just asking. I don't. No, I don't understand, man. Am I in trouble or something? No. I mean, why would I if I didn't do anything wrong? You just said it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just asking for your name. <laughs> You can say no if you don't want to give me your name. It's simple. Yeah, right? well, I, yeah, I mean, if I didn't do nothing wrong, I don't see why I have to give you my name. The auditor, well aware of his constitutional rights, refused to be intimidated by the ill-informed deputy. Soon, the deputy had to retreat, realizing he was up against someone with a better understanding of the law. Sure you read all posted signs, okay? What do you mean, all posted signs? Okay, start taking, start taking pictures of jail facilities and stuff like that. You can get in trouble for that. You can get in trouble for taking pictures of jail facilities? Yes. So, like I said, there's a bunch of signs I would read on five of you, okay, bud? Like this one? That's not a jail facility. Which one is? Read the signs, bud, all right? Well, I just want to make sure because I'm going to go take a picture of it right now. But do you want to? What's your name? Sergeant Juan Seja with the Yellow County Sheriff's Office. Sergeant what? Juan Seja. Juan Seja? That's correct. So, what's the issue? I don't understand why you came right, just up and you put a camera in my face isn't going to change anything, okay? I'm not saying it already, is. Already, I'm not saying it is. We've already finished our conversation while you're doing I don't feel like I'm done. I'm just asking Listen, what the problem is. I'm not trying to bait you. Problem. I'm asking what the problem is. That you were taking pictures. But now you're and telling me, you now, you're name telling name. me yeah. now you're telling me, now you're telling me you can't take pictures of a jail facility? I I can absolutely take a picture of a jail facility. Okay. Make sure you read the signs, okay? No, you make sure you get back in your car and you're dismissed and get out of here. How about that? See you later. Right, You're dismissed, babe. One. Yeah. The deputy soon got away, but this was only the start of the day as just a few moments later, the auditor was once again stopped by an officer. This time, the conversation was about to get even more difficult. Taking pictures? Yeah. Uh, so you're, just gonna, you're not going to like talk to me or anything like that? Well, I'm just taking pictures. Okay. Uh, I don't see. Any reason there, why? Is there much more information to get? I'm just taking pictures. Okay. So just, I'm just asking any reason why. I mean, I'm not being a jerk or anything. Oh, I get it. And yeah, I'm just so, saying I'm just taking pictures. But... You're just taking pictures. Yep, that's it. Yeah. So, is there, what's the reason why? Just taking pictures, man. Okay. And we pictures know why. of cars and license plates and. Yeah, but what? Just because. Because, but see, that's the thing. Do you have an idea on you? I do. Yeah. Can I see it? Why do I have to show my, do I have I'm to not show ask, my I'm not asking. You're just asking if I can see yeah. it? Oh, if I don't have to show it, I'm not, okay, I don't know so, how the law works uh, on that, but I'm not going to show it if I don't have to. Uh, just so you know. It's surprising how difficult it is for these officers to see a person exercising his constitutional rights. Soon after, the officers started to intimidate the auditor who remained steadfast and showed no concern for their attempt. This is private property. This is private. You are, this, uh, you are. I didn't know that. It's open to the public for legitimate there. reasons. Okay, so technically at this point, just to let you know. Okay. All right. Once you go past that little area over there, okay. you are subject to search. 
at no, for no reason whatsoever, just for being here. Mm. You probably don't want that to happen, do you? Not really. Exactly. No. You are required to identify yourself because we this is this is an actual government area. Okay. Okay. So what you should do if you don't want to be like talked to or search or anything like that is go stand at the corner because then you're not on our property. Because actually, as of right now, I can search you and anything I find, I can seize. Is that if it's, right? If it's illegal, yes. Uh, um, yeah. I don't think that that's, I think that's uh, <laughs> probably not going to hold us in court, but yeah. <laughs> you can't just search somebody because yeah. they're on this property. Yes. Is this, this, this is private property, is that it? It is private yet open to the public for legitimate business. The tyrant cop did not even know the difference between public and private property as he continued to escalate the situation. It's concerning to see a law enforcement officer having no knowledge regarding the law. Mm. And like I said, I'll be happy to go read the sign with you, but you're on our property and you're subject to search. Mm. Okay, so like I said, it'd be better if you go stand at the corner and do what you're doing. Mm. But standing here and you're not, you're not telling me why you want to be here or what you're doing, yeah, so you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't know who you are. I don't know why you're here. I told you so, why I'm here. Taking well, pictures. Yeah. Okay, but taking why pictures. Are you taking pictures. Just taking pictures. But why? Just taking pictures. Okay. Now we're gonna go another route. Well stay other route. I'm okay. taking pictures. I'm telling you right now, okay, <laughs> you're subject to search. Why would I okay. be subject to search because on public it's property? Let's go look at the sign. I'll it's, show you the this sign. is public property. See, you're being difficult. I'm not being difficult. I'm asking sure? a question. This is a asking a question is being difficult. How is asking a question being difficult? Because I'm just asking a okay, question. How am I? How am I? Just let me ask. The, can I just ask the question? Well, how am I subject? How am I subject to search for being on publicly accessible property? Like you said, I'm on public property. I'm not at the jail, mind you. You said this is a whole. No, it doesn't work because anybody so, can come in here and not be at the okay, jail. This is the question. sheriff's office, right? Question. Why do you have the right to ask me questions? Because you're a public and servant and I'm a private citizen. So you can answer my questions? I can, if I choose to. Okay, how about I choose not to then? But you're a public servant. You get paid okay. to answer my questions. You get paid to serve me. And, and if if you're here and you're talking to me and because harassing me, and harassing me like you are I'm right now. You. But you are. I'm you're threatening to search me and that I can't be I'm here. And, why and you won't tell me. I'm just taking pictures. There, yeah. That's the that's the telling you. Yeah, just taking, taking pictures. I'm taking pictures, pictures to take pictures because I like cool shit and I'm a photographer. I mean, what what is the what? Yeah, I picture, could be working on a story that you don't need to know about. It, it could why, be a million yeah, okay. things that I don't have to but, tell you because there's something do. called the Fifth Amendment, right? The officer refused to understand the situation and even went ahead with a bizarre question that further highlighted his incompetence. Because we want to know why. I'm just taking pictures. If I was at your house taking pictures, would you want to know why? But you're not, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not at your house, though. I mean, I, I have never even done this before. I was just out taking some pictures today, and and I'm not at your house. If you were at my house, yes, I would come out and say, why are you taking pictures of my house? You are subject to search if we choose to search you, because we don't know you. You are subject, okay? You're subject to search. So I'm going to go over and take a picture of the sign. Mr. Maritala. What was that? Are you Mr. Maritala, correct? Oh, I see what's going on. Is that you? I have a letter for you if it's you. Soon after, the initial deputy came in and started to take pictures of the auditor. It was evident that he was still furious after the initial confrontation and kept on being difficult. Because that's now a public record and if I want to request it, I can. Is that your personal phone or company phone? Well, when you go to that, you can do that. No, what's is that I need it for the record. Is that your personal phone or a company phone? Can you make that and what's your badge you number? I don't need to provide that. You already have yes, you do. What's You're your badge that? number? You have to give me your name and badge number. I believe in your policy. It says uh, your identification has to show. Is there nobody else in this department named Seha? No. There's nobody else in this department with the last name Seha. That's no. what you're saying. Correct. <laughs> well, <laughs> How, are you here? How can we help? Davis, you? badge number. You, What's your name and badge number? I'm not going to converse with you until I get everybody's identification here. So that's the bottom line. Name and badge number. Okay. What's your badge number? I don't need to provide his badge What's your badge number? You already have my name. Are you you're, So you're refusing to identify yourself? Shortly, the officers called for their sergeant who arrived at the scene and confronted the auditor. Just like others, he displayed limited knowledge of the law and was schooled by the auditor. Why is it that you're taking pictures? Or are you just out I'm here taking pictures. For what? Taking for, pictures. Are you conducting an investigation or something? Taking or? pictures. 
But for what purpose, though? I'm taking pictures. So you don't want you want us to help you, but you don't want to help us. The, right? And I've explained this it's to your be, officers. I, I haven't asked feet, for man. your help at all. I, I'm at. You guys can go back yeah, to work. But we're concerned <laughs> because we have secured people. Okay, so so here. just make it clear. I'm not asking for your help. Okay. But if I ask a question, yeah, you're required to answer it because why? Do we know? Do you know that information? Why you're required to give your name and badge number and provide service to us? Do we know that? What can we help you with? But I'm just asking, do we what, know that information? It's because you're a public servant, right? And I can choose not to answer the questions. Why? Because I'm a private citizen, right? The sergeant also instructed him to leave the public place and stand at a safe distance. However, just like the rest of them, he failed to name any law that was being violated by him. There's no no trespassing signs. Okay. If it was Look, secured, but there would be you. gates. I'm not gonna argue with you. There I'm would just, be gates. I'm, I'm giving you a lawful order to go to leave this area. Okay, if you wanna go stand over there in the parking lot, you can. But there has to be a law backing it up. And if this is publicly accessible, I am totally allowed to do this. That's what I'm telling you not arguing with you i'm not getting nasty with uh, you what well, i'm saying is if this is like i've been told like you've said like the other officer said this is publicly accessible you, you, see that? you might not you see want that? me here Hold on a second you see that sign over there there's a sign over there tells you, you come on I'll, you can walk with me juvenile detention facility could i drive back there and do that yeah. if that's could you doing, could you drive back you, you could, could drive back okay there. publicly accessible if i wanted to walk in here am i able perfectly to walk in here that's not the Publicly accessible. Here, Deputy Pete's got the information. He's Where'd you get that picture yeah. from? Right there. Where? Yeah. Down there? I'm not past that. But, but you're on the ground. Uh, Negative. Listen. I'm not past it. I am at the sheriff's <laughs> office. <laughs> How are you going, I'm, how are you, there, you understand there's border lines? The sergeant wasn't making any sense, and that's when the auditor took him for a law lesson. He just completely owned the lot and forced the sergeant to end the detainment. Coming onto it, I would be trespassing, but not yeah. coming onto it is not breaking okay. a law. You I see what I'm saying? So you can't I'm give me, at that point, you can't give me a lawful order to okay. not be here. Don't, well, do you understand that? I'm just trying to get you guys to open your mind a little bit and teach you a little different sure. than what they taught you in your training, okay. right? If it's not a law, there's literally nothing you can do. Nothing, okay. nothing any of you can do if it's not a law. Okay. So if it was a law and I was breaking a law, I'm a law abiding citizen, I would absolutely move. But because you're giving me directives that I don't have to follow that aren't based on a law, a penal code or some sort of violation then i don't have to listen to you and you need to just accept that suck it up and move on that's that's it bottom line right so at All this right. point you guys are dismissed babe you're out of here yeah, see you guys day, later man. yep uh, dismissed fellas thank you i appreciate you guys well these cops learned a lesson in law but that's nothing when it comes to the karma this racist cop got yeah why? Because it's a violation of HIPAA law. He's actually in. Pardon me? You see anything around here right now? Did you see anything? Yeah. Please leave. Why? It's a violation of Right now, we're working on this. Can you tell me he's leave the area? Because he's a victim. He's a victim, he's he's a victim right now. You want to leave? Uh, I'm watching. You want to leave the area? I want to make sure he's being taken care of. What's the, what, what's, the, what's, the, what's the rule? Is there a rule about that? We don't want you right here if I'm attending okay, him. Okay, but what's the, you're not doing I want you on the other side of that hedge. What are you doing? Right now, I want you on the other side. You're not attending him. What are you doing? Sir, right now, I'm going to ask you again on the other side of that hedge. Why? Why don't want to have to go to the other side? You're going to get arrested for obstruction. How am I obstruction? Because I'm asking you to go to the other side and I don't want you approaching me. I'm not approaching you. You approach me. the hedge. What about everybody else? The deputy had no idea that the person he was intimidating was none other than Tamarack Commissioner Mike Galen. Soon after, the audio cuts down as the deputy threw his phone away and arrested him. The deputy proceeded to arrest Galen on a charge of resisting an officer without violence. However, soon after this incident, the charge was dropped. The situation seemed to have ended, but Galen only got his revenge five years later during a city commission meeting. Galen was present at the meeting, and Deputy Gallardo received a Deputy of the Month award. However, just at this point, Point, Galen decided to take out his frustration. It's good to see you again. You probably don't remember me, but you're the police officer who falsely arrested me four years ago. You lied on the police report. I believe you're a rogue police officer, you're a bad police officer, and you don't deserve to be here. Everyone was stunned at this sight, and that's when the mayor instantly tried to calm everything down. We appreciate, as a whole, 
BSO and everything that you do for us. Well, the venue, the comments, and the way they were presented into the public setting was inappropriate. But we just left a meeting. I, I talked to him about it, about how I was disappointed with his behavior, and it was unacceptable. And, you know, surprisingly, uh, the commissioner was very receptive to it, understood that perhaps he could have took a different approach, and we're going to work together to make sure this type of thing doesn't happen again. Soon after this incident, many people came out and spoke against the commissioner, claiming that this wasn't the right thing to do. There was a difference between legitimate criticism of a deputy and using a platform of the city commission to embarrass, humiliate, and berate that deputy. He chose to act in a manner that brought shame, shock, and disbelief to all who saw it. However, not everyone held the same view as some also appreciated him for having the courage to speak out. We are not anti-police. We are anti-police misconduct. When you censor Mike, the rest of us will get seriously vocal. Thank you, Mike, for your courage. When it comes to our police and how they treat residents and visitors of our city, I'd like to see some changes because every resident in Tamarack should feel safe and protected. Once the meeting ended, criticism flew in from everywhere, and some even claimed that the commissioner might end up losing his job. Two weeks later, Galen addressed the issue, claiming that the arrest had been like a trauma for him. I received messages of hate, threats, my family's safety has been compromised. I have to explain a mugshot for the rest of my life, as if I am a criminal, and I'm not a criminal. Eventually, the city commissioners decided to not vote to reprimand Galen, meaning that he had the last laugh, as he got his revenge too. Well, that was a great lesson, but this next cop's actions cost his city over $100,000. Okay. I have no reason You're to be detained by you, bro. Sit down. Bro, stop. Sit down. Bro, you hey. On the 27th of May, 2020, La Mesa police officer Matthew Dagez went over to confront a black man claiming that he had been smoking in a non-smoking zone. Surprisingly, he didn't even turn on his body cam for the initial second. Hey, get the f off me, bro. Cause you got me for it, bro. I already told you this is coming straight. You look goofy as hell, bro. Stop touching me, bro. Obviously, yeah, nobody's going nowhere. Smack hey, 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 what I tell you? Sit I told down. you I'm waiting for somebody to come here. Okay. They right here, bro. Sit down. Oh, oh my God, you're tough yeah, as I, up. I just Hey, you tough as up. Stop. Stop. Hey, we don't care. Stop. Bro, you goofy as hell, bro. Hey, Mr. Dadges, you making a deal out of nothing, buddy. The black man was identified as 23-year-old Amori Johnson. Johnson was waiting for his friend and had no cigarette, lighter, or any vaping device on him. Despite this, the tyrant cop kept being difficult with him. You're making a big deal out of nothing, Brody. Sit down. You making a big deal out of You real big, though, huh? Dude, hey, you real big. The one that just hey, you real big. Sit down. Hey, you real tough. Okay. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey where, was I, where was I at? Where was I at? Right there. I told you, bro, the ride that came, bro. That's fine. The people came. I'm finna dip. Okay. I have no reason you're to be detained by you, bro. Sit down. Bro, stop. <laughs> Sit down. Bro, you see your bro? Sit down, dude. For real. Y'all are funny as hell, bro. Funny as hell, bro. Hey, 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 You've already, put, my, you've already put your hands on me. Bro, I didn't put nothing on you, bro. It's on camera, so you can check okay. it. Soon, Johnson saw himself surrounded by cops, and he was handcuffed without any apparent reason. He was visibly frustrated by this and tried to talk to the tyrant cops to let him go. Hey, what are we doing? What, what are we doing? What are we doing? Hey, look at my name. What are we doing? What are we doing? Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you. Sit down. Sit down. I'm waiting for somebody to come. Okay. All right, bro. Tell him stop touching me, bro. No. First of all, stop you touching me. You can't listen. Now, nah, back up out of here, bro. Listen to me. Bro, y'all okay. hella goofy, bro. I'm talking to you, and you smack me. Bro, nobody smacked you, bro. Why I smack you? You didn't? Why I smack you? You didn't? Why you didn't? Smack you? you didn't hit my arm? I smack you. Right. All right, but why are you grabbing me, though? Why are you grabbing because me? Because you keep trying to, why are you keep trying to stand me? up. Bro, shut the fuck up. Quit talking to me, bro. I ain't got nothing to say to you, bro. All right. Straight up. Goofy as hell, bro. I'm good, bro. I already know I'm good. Hey, you trying to shoot me and do some weird shit here right now, bro? You feel me? Shit finna be straight. <sighs> Bro, dumb as f Bro, you see what's going on though, right? One of the bystanders started to make a video of this altercation, and the corrupt cop didn't even allow that. Bro, for real. I'm waiting out here for my friends. I told you that. That's hey, right. Hey, did you look my name up already, bro? Did you look? Hey, what 24 stand for, too? Hey, what that stand for? Is that a gang? Is that a gang thing? Hey, you got 24 on your too? We're gonna talk to you. All right, talk to me then. Give me all this 
cuffs. Why need you to take a deep mom breath? Detained. Bro, ain't no deep breath. Ain't no calming down, bro. Y'all got six cops for no reason over here, bro. Y'all goofy as hell. Bro, over here talking about, are you smoking weed and shit? Oh, suck my Suck my You ass boy. You a hoe, I'm an attorney. Bro. 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 Yeah, Hey, one by Johnson kept pleading his innocence, and it was right that he had done nothing wrong. This was a classic case of racial profiling, as the officer was the one who tried to grab him. I get in there, no, I get that. But, you know what I'm saying? You let proof like that, abuse a power like that, you know what I'm saying? Who knows who next? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I told him my homie was coming, and he pulled up, and he still want to beef up on me. For what? Where's my work? He looked at my name like 30 minutes ago, bro. Why am I still here? I don't got nothing on me. I'm doing nothing wrong. I'm being a citizen. So you know what I'm saying? That's, that's why I'm, I, that's why I'm frustrated. It's not as hell. I'm sitting outside for no reason. You know what I'm saying? You really don't get it though. You don't get it. It's, it's cool. I, I feel like I understand you're being empathetic, and I, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? But you don't get it, bro. You don't. I'm not trying to say that I know exactly. Okay. What you're I know. But I'm just saying that I understand your frustration. So listen to me. You're being placed under arrest for 241C. Okay? Yep. All right. What's the 241 Assault on a peace officer. Assault on an officer. Johnson was calmly waiting for his friend, and just five minutes later, he was about to be put into jail. Soon, the officers proceeded to take him to the police cruiser. Hey, come on. Hey, bet. Hey, bro, hey. you are a whole ass bitch. Hey, hey, call, hey, call Jerry. Hey, call Jerry. Hey, Nick, call Jerry. Listen to me. It's hey, a misdemeanor. Hey, it's a sign hey, release. Hey, call Jerry. Hey, hey, call Jerry, Nick. <laughs> You're a, bro. You a straight. Bro? Yeah. Hey, you Except for I, you're the one that hit me. Bro, I didn't hit you, bro. You started grabbing me, bro. I told you to stop touching me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Assault a police officer. You know it's on film, right? It's How far you think this is going to go? You just wasted my time and your time, but it's good, oh, though. That's fine. It's good. I hope y'all don't kill me in the back of this car, though. That's what I hope. I hope you don't shoot me in this back of this car or some shit. That's what I hope, bro. Because you guys are fucking corrupt officers. You're for sure corrupt as fuck. Because I'm not supposed to be in the back of the car in the first place. Okay. Straight that's up. Fine. But you know what I'm saying? We can play this game all day. I'm over the front, hey, Remember there was a tiny right there. That's fine. Johnson's fear about the cops targeting him was legitimate, as he knew how dangerous these racist cops could be. Moments later, they started to search him down before placing him inside the car. If anyone's being extra, it's you okay. and your friends. All right, bro. Extra is me being this position right now. You know what I'm saying? Because you saw me just standing there. And you know why I pushed your hand off of me, because you grabbed me. So, you know what I'm saying? It's all good. And I didn't try to run or nothing, but, you know, if y'all if want to take to the step, it's cool. I understand. I don't, Copy, but, I'll be you know a 1016 for a 241C. Take a step back for me. Do you have anything on you that's gonna poke me, stick me, stab me? No, nothing. I got cuffs on, bro. Like, come on now. You get lift up your hands, right? bro. My cu uh, how? How, man? Like, come on now. How? Fuck. See how your arms go up. See how your arms go up and down. Yeah, you just like that. They don't go up much, bro. They don't go up much. No, they go you know what up. I'm just check my pants. Do your job. If you would have acted like a normal person, Bruh, you I would have normal as fuck. Did I lie to you the whole time? So did I tell you my friend was coming? Then he was. So what are we doing here? What are we doing? And you put your hands on me. I did. When did I put your hands on you, bro? You put your hands on me. When when I put my hands on you? I tried to get you off me because you were grabbing me, and it's on film. So you know, it's whatever though. All right, come on. Go take a seat. Gonna at least get my stuff off the front of the car, like <sighs> slide in. This cop cost his city a massive lawsuit, but the next cop took things up a notch. How you doing? Hi. How you doing? Good. Ten Falls Do you have a job as a fresh registration insurance club? Do you know you guys pulled me over in the same exact spot three days in a row? Really? Three yeah. days in a row. I was unaware of that. And now you're going to give me a warning, too. Let me guess. My license plate, right? The no. little thing on the bottom? No, absolutely not. What'd what did I do? What happened? Put your blinker on when there was nowhere to turn. Well, that's because I saw you then. I wanted to make sure you saw my blinker making I, I the thought left. Maybe you got nervous. So you saw no, because no, yesterday yeah, I am he nervous. said we didn't okay. use I the am blinker. Right, I need to see your driver's list. Registration, I am insurance, nervous. I'm nervous and I'm you. pissed off. That's this what is I harassment. It is I hope harassment. You know that. The individual driving the car jumped over the police officer, along with his wife, and rightly so, as the officer had no concrete proof for pulling him over. I don't even know you. 
Don't you know guys, you. Well, you do know don't me know because you. here's another guy here yesterday, three days in a row. Why would you both pull up on me like this? Okay. My son came to get surgery, man. Right. I'm glad you got me on video because I have a video camera in the car, too. Yeah, but that's Good. fine. So then you guys know that you did this three days in a row. How would I know? I don't because know you. Because you got cameras. I wasn't the officer that stopped you. Got it. So is this your procedure? Thank Come you. on. Come on, man. Right Disgusting. Is this your sergeant? I'd like to see your sergeant. The cops had no legal reason to stop the individual driving. That's when the other officer also arrived on the scene. And that's when the situation started to escalate. Do you have another insurance card? Yeah, I'm sure I do. This isn't my car, it's this my grandmother's. The officer ran it yesterday and it was go. fine. Take that. Hey, can I have your sergeant present, please? Please? Three days in a row, you yeah. guys got on camera. Do me a favor, step out of the car. So I'm gonna, step, gonna, I'm gonna, stepping out of the car. He's asking for I'm your sergeant. Step out of the car. Step out of the car. Oh, are you kidding me? Step out. Are you kidding me right now? On what premise? On what premise? I'm being violated right now. My Fourth Amendment right is being violated right now. My Fourth Amendment right. My Fourth Amendment right is being violated. You're in front of my son. You're gonna be placed under arrest. For what? Resisting? Yes. Step out of the vehicle. I'm resisting an arrest that you're about to. That you're about to harass me now. Oh, are you here for my lawyer? This is harassment. He was pressurized and removed from his car, all while his four-year-old son was in the backseat of the car. The cops then took him away and asked for his proof of insurance. Do I know you? Do I know you? I don't care if you know me. Um, I feel threatened I don't know right you. Now. I don't, I don't know you. Where's your three proofs of ID? Oh, really? Your three my proof's right here. I need more. That's my I need proof. more. Where's your, where's your driver's license? You know what? what, what I, know, I know my... Listen, I you know, know your right. So I know. I You're do. an attorney. I know. How do you know I'm not? How do you know I'm not? Oh, oh, you are? Do you have ID on you? You have ID on you. I do have ID. I'm in, well, I'm in a, I'm in a market. Three days in a row, if you were pulled over in the same flight and harassed while your son had... I don't know you. I don't, I don't care know if you. you know me. You're, you're well, I'm telling you, I don't know you. You work for, you work for is this, us. Is this your son? How old that is you? my son. You're going to do that? Absolutely. You're going to do that right First in front of your son? First of all, my son? grandfather was a chief of police retired. My uncles are in the village. I don't know who you are. Are you sitting there and harassing people where are you, they're coming off the where you, highway? Where are you coming from? Today? Why do I have to answer your questions? You don't. Absolutely, you don't. You don't, don't. want to answer? Don't answer. You're out of your mind. You're you out of your mind. I need you an people. Yeah, you know what? Here's all of our stuff. That's no, I, I, you it. find it. What, what are you kidding me? You find your insurance card. You find your insurance card. You find your insurance card. You should be ashamed of yourself with what you should do. What do you got to meet your quota? Yeah, quota. The first cop was still trying to show some decency, but the situation went from bad to worse when the other cop instigated him, disregarding any sort of empathy. You think I don't know my fucking human rights? You pull me out of my car and harass me right now? You first of all, you mind? can't have that on your what car. What are you either. laughing at? It's not my car! It, it is your car. You're no, driving no, it. No, but it's not my car. You are driving it. It's vehicle. not my car. All the car. tickets for that are going to go to you. I don't give a shit. Okay. I obviously get harassed every time I come up here by you guys. So where, where's your sergeant? That's what I want on the scene right now. Unfortunately, you're not the dictator. And you don't say what you're, you you're not a dictator either. You right, work for so us. Shut your mouth before you get locked up. <laughs> yeah. Do what he says, do what he says, and we'll handle this. However, still, the cause of the arrest was unknown, as pulling someone off just for turning on their blinkers seems a bit too harsh. Yeah, I didn't know you were stopped two times prior. Doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't... And you stopped him for putting his blinker on before, yeah, before we made the left. blinker on where there was nowhere to turn. Because your officer said yesterday that I didn't do it, so the second I saw you, I put my blinker on. To make sure it didn't happen again. Well, thank you for not doing your job properly. The first officer took his license and went back to his car to issue a citation, but the confrontation wasn't over, as Officer Sapia came back to the car and confronted the couple once again. No, thank they you. They tell the situation, but you're I getting did. all hyped no, up. No, you weren't here when he pulled up Okay, on well, me. you're it's getting... It's on this, camera. It's you on probably camera. would have been on your way by now. But I'm pissed okay. off. Okay. Three days in a row so, my son so, having surgery and I have to do that. Tell, tell him. He did tell him that. Tell him that. He did, he, he did tell and him that. He did tell him that. And he ignored me. I don't know. Yeah. He ignored him. us and we told tough. him that. You're getting tough and aggressive because okay. you're pissed off. But I can't get tough and aggressive. Exactly. Write me all the fake tickets you want. The couple were rightly furious witnessing this mistreatment as they had to wait for minutes inside their car as the officer came back again. This time he was in a better mood and tried to reconcile with the earlier incident. I'm not going to write you something to I understand people don't like us, but I didn't I, know. I, I, I respect you I, and I, I love it. Listen, three days in a row, I like know, I said, my I, uncle, I didn't know my you cousin died on 9-11. He was the Port Authority I know, cop. but you're not letting me my speak. Because I'm upset. I know, you, but you I didn't know. You never had a bad day. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I understand. You had a bad day. No problem. You understand? And then, and then I have, and then I have him bucking up when the both of you are in uniform and he's a both aggressive towards somebody. Not aggressive towards you. That's aggravating, and it's assault because board. you have a gun. I have it recorded, sir. I have it recorded. Because I have a gun. I'm, I'm a, and you're both in costume. And you're both in costume. Costumes? Yes. Yes. Don't tell me I don't know That's, the law. You're, you're telling me, am I a lawyer? We're, we're in costumes. This is a uniform. Yeah, but you're disrespecting it by disrespect by pulling out because I look nervous. I understand you have a job to do because the past two days that you pulled me over, that was the gentleman's response. You officer, I'm sorry. I had a bad day. I had a bad day. I'll take that. I had a bad day. What, I, what I'm saying is practice a little more discretion with people sometimes, especially this boy here. Well, well, to be fair, the officer didn't issue him a ticket, but it's clear that he did violate the driver's rights by stopping him without any reason. And he did a brilliant job for standing firm against this injustice. No, he got pissed off. He came up to me and threatened to put that handcuff. You're not allowed to speak. There's no freedom of speech. And then you, and then you take my... That's true. That's right. But then you take my Fourth Amendment rights away and you pull me out of a vehicle. Because of the way you're acting. Because I'm pissed right? off. Are you hiding something? I don't know. But, but that, see, then you become All a detective. Right. No. Yeah, yeah I, I was a detective, yes. Okay. Yes. But now you're not. Now, you, now you're came, in uniform. I just came out of the detective bureau. But That's now you're wrong. in uniform, sir. Right? My job is to find out what you're doing and why you're doing it. I'm leaving and, the doctor's office with my son, and I, did, and I didn't do anything right, wrong. I will. The cops soon left the area without giving any warning, and the couple were on their way again. The officers did seem a bit harsh here, but the actions of the next officers will make them seem like angels. On the 16th of October, 2021, a single father of four children, Sylvester Hayes was going to pick up breakfast for his kids. As he was moving, he mistakenly missed a signal at a stop sign and was immediately pulled over by two Dallas police officers. Okay, uh, okay well, what's your information? That's it. That's all. That's all. Damn, I'm finna, I'm finna go get some for my baby something to eat. Okay, like, hey, if you're good, sir, you're good. <laughs> I'll explain it to you. I know. Step out. I'll explain everything. No, sir. Tell me why. I didn't give you permission. I didn't give you permission to. Right now, you are being detained. Come on and step out. Hey, yeah, okay. Come on and step out. Come on. Come on and step out. Come on and step out. We're gonna get taste. Come on and step out. As Mr. Hayes showed the officer his ID, he mistook his name with a domestic violence suspect who shared the same name as him. The officers had no idea that they were about to make a grave mistake. Come on and step out. Come on and step out. Bro, Come on and step out. Come on me, and huh? step out. Bro. Step what, what out. Hold on, hold on, bro. Come on and step out. As the cops were attempting to pull out Hayes, they noticed that he also had a firearm inside the car. However, later it was proved that it was legally registered under his name. But the cops wouldn't care about this fact. Multiple officers combined to restrain Hayes as he was forced to the ground and handcuffed. All of this while he was crying hysterically, still unaware of what went wrong. Bro! No, I'm not, man! Bro, look at that! Bro, what are y'all doing? Bro! Help! 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 They f***ing hurting me! They hurting me! Put him out with us. Put, uh, 85. 
four out with us as well. And uh, start us with um, record, please. The officers then tried their best to attempt to put him in the back of the car. However, Hayes stood his ground against the corrupt cops, which led them to use an alternate strategy. Stop! 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 As more backup arrived, they attempted to move Hayes into the car. Needless to say, the cops were brutal throughout this altercation. Yeah, bro, I don't have anything, bro. It's on the floorboard of the it's front passenger. Bro, I don't. That is my gun. It is in my name. Stop. Bro, you're questioning my pressure points. Stop. Bro. You're getting this because you're acting this way. My this is 100%, and I'm not your. Y'all are in big trouble, man. I have a seat in the car. Bro, I, I can't even get up, man. My. Get up. Get the. Stop. Get the back. Stop. Get the Just after Hayes was put inside the police cruiser, a female officer decided to check his ID once again. And that's when she realized the moment of truth and the shocking blunder they had made. was in a terrible condition, and yet the officers felt no remorse for their actions. Another officer arrived sometime later and finally took the time to talk to Hayes about the distressing situation. I came in late for everything. And, and they handled me so rough, sir. I ain't, I complied, I said, what am I, what, what are y'all, what am I being stuck for? I didn't give nobody no attitude or anything, sir. I got four kids that was waiting on me right now. They are hungry, they are hungry. I'm gonna go feed them, man. And that's it. That's, I don't know. Like they, they say, I failed the failed the signal at the at the stop sign. The stop sign. Okay. I mean, I was wrong for that. Yes. So, but, so that was the reason for contact for the stop. Okay. Yes, I understand that. Not your name, Sylvester Hayes. Sylvester Hayes. A, a name of a champion. And they and they they they, they doing it because they. Bro, my, I don't know if it's because my skin is. And that, that, it has nothing to do with the skin. But, but look how they held me, sir. I didn't do anything. To well, there was me. a gun, right? But I, I wasn't pulling. I told him I had a weapon. I told him this. Okay. I told him this. This is my name. Okay. If they run it, it's going to say Sylvester Hayes. Okay. Hayes kept pleading his innocence, but none of the officers around felt the urge to release him from handcuffs, especially after figuring out he was innocent. Give me a second, right? And and that Sylvester Hayes does have a warrant. Then maybe that's. Okay. I'm the third, man. Okay, so your last name is Hayes? Hey, Sylvester Hayes the third. Funds or stuff and stuff like that are no. late. I didn't pull in anything, sir. No, no, no. I, and, I, and I never said you did, right? With everything, come on, man. With everything that's going on now, why, the, why would I pull the gun, man? I ain't trying to be another, another. Man, come on, man. I don't have to say it. It's, it's 
I'm fighting for my life, man. I got four babies at the house, man. <laughs> what if they would have, what if happened and they would have, come on, man. I understand. For nothing, though. So for here. So my car's up the day, I'm paying on it. Like, I got a good job. I work security. I work security. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be one of y'all, but like, come on, man. This is how y'all do. This is how y'all do me. I'm working to be y'all, bro. I suspect why they like, hey. You bitch, the fool. Yeah, because we pulled up and everybody was fighting and we just want to just, just end it right exactly. there. Exactly. It was because of them. I didn't say anything, man. I, didn't, I was complaining. If they had their radio on, I was complaining, man. They had Hayes is correct as he didn't do anything wrong throughout the encounter. Moments later, a police sergeant arrived on the scene and confronted the initial two cops demanding an explanation for the arrest. And she was like, oh, let's look at the registered owner or whatever. So she does. She goes to AIS, yeah. and that's a cross-reference, and it pops up red. So she's like, uh, okay. She kind of looks at it, but by that time, we had already lost them. We yeah. had already gone into, like, the Family Dollar parking lot or whatever. Mm -hmm. The Family Dollar parking lot. So then, as she's searching, she finds out that the name that she put on there, whatever was on AIS, had continuous family violence, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, warrant. And he fails to signal within 100 feet from the stop sign okay. here in Southern Oaks and Overton. And as soon as he came up here, you know, we obviously pulled him yeah, over. So he got the reason for contact. Yeah. So I pulled up to the car and I'm like, hey man, look, you, you know, you got pulled over for this, this, and this. And he was like, well, that's not fair because you were watching me from the other side. And I was like, yeah, we were on the other side of the light, but you were crossing. So obviously, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So then the officers struggled to narrate the entire incident to their sergeant, and it was evident that they had realized the huge mistake they made. At this point, they were just struggling to make amends. There's, okay. I guess, okay. a lot he of tickets. He does have tickets. He does have okay. the tickets. So when I'm like, hey, bro, so in order for us to, in order for us to be able to, like, try to get him out of the car and the flight was on. Okay. And then I was like, oh, bro, come so on. So you got a jail traffic resistant arrest? Right. Yeah, we have uh, failed to see him on our feet, and then he has tickets. Okay. He had a gun in his pocket because he kept going like That's this. That's why he, kept... he was acting so crazy. Okay, because he, he, he had a pistol in his, in his mm -hmm. freaking uh, mm -hmm. pocket. Mm -hmm. And at that point, whenever we were trying to get him out of the car, Whitman was on the other side. He was like, gun, 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 right pocket, gun. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah. The cops were exposed, and instead of owning to their mistake, they continued to search for ways to avoid humiliation. Even the sergeant made no attempts to get to the bottom of the situation and hold the cops accountable. Uh, he has not been convicted. Or no felon? No felon. We have a clean UCW okay. resisting. Resisting? Okay. Resisting because... Well, that, I don't know if we we're going to be able to put the resistance because you okay. can't resist detention. You can get him out of the car, but I mean, okay. if the fight is on. So, 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 hold on. So, so, resi so, who was on the driver's side? I was. So, he was listening to your commands at the time, right? No, he was not. As when soon as I, said, yeah, I had to open the door when I was like, hey, come on, bro, come on, let's Because Whitman saw the gun. He had probable cause to stop him because you got, y'all looked at his name and his picture earlier and could identify him? Uh, we couldn't see in the car. So that's we, the have, thing. we have a traffic violation. You got traffic, have traffic, traffic violation. violation. Yeah. Because of reason so, for contact. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I wasn't going to be like, oh, it's an investigative yeah, stop yeah, yeah, yeah. and it turns into shit. Like, no. So we were okay. going to get. So when the pistol come back clean, okay, let's find. And then what was his injury? Nothing. But if he resisted, he resisted. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So resisted. we got him on that, right? Yeah. So that they were good. So yeah. So just uh, find out. Ended up being like the third or something like that. But as soon as I saw the lesser haze, I was like, okay, let's get him out. Well, we <laughs> Hayes's rights were blatantly violated throughout the arrest, and after this, he was transported to the police station where he was charged with resisting arrest and unlawful possession of a weapon. Hayes spent a considerable time in jail, and shockingly, his charges were dropped after 14 months. After the arrest, Hayes lost his job and his house as his life came crashing down. However, he filed a lawsuit against the police department and the officers involved in the incident. The lawsuit is still in proceedings, and we sincerely hope that justice prevails and Hayes Hayes gets the compensation he rightfully deserves. Cops often make some terrible decisions, such as this one involving a 10-year-old kid. Lay down, lay down, lay down, put the phone down. This terrifying encounter happened on the 16th of April, 2021 in Pittsfield Township, when several police officers were investigating some cars following a shooting inside a mall. However, among them, one of the drivers sped past the cops, leading to a pursuit. The man reached speeds of up to 100 miles per hour before finally being stopped. To make matters worse, there was also a passenger in the front seat who immediately left the vehicle as it stopped. 
Hands, hands. Put the phone down now. Sit. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Put the phone down. The little boy was the son of the driver, and he was only 10 years old. He was terrified once the officer pointed his gun towards him, and if that wasn't enough, he even handcuffed him. The situation kept escalating as the poor boy's father was being apprehended by the cops in front of his eyes. Sure. Is there anything in facts you need to know about? No, no, nothing. All right. Here, you can check. You're okay, all right? Who's in the car with you? Your dad, okay. Do you, do you know why he took off running? Huh? Do you know why he took off running? No. You got it, Do you know why he took off running? He's gonna be okay, too. Don't worry about it, all right? You're okay. Everything's gonna be... Stop pulling away, Stop! Stop! Where's the sergeant? Stop. Get off of me, dude! I'm gonna pull your mask up, okay? You're okay? You're not hurt at all? No. Are you ambulance training? Scared. Everything's gonna be good. Don't worry about it, alright? For you, it's out on JXL. We're gonna take the patch off and enter up on the Metro East. The detail will be on Amidst the chaos, the boy's father realized that his son was also handcuffed by the cops. The father was rightly frustrated and decided to take it all out on the officer. He's okay. He's okay. Are you He's all right. Here, do me a favor. Let's go over to the side of the car, okay? You're good. You're good. Where's your mom at? She's at home. Okay. All right. Why do y'all got my son in handcuffs, bro? Here, let's go over to my car. We'll get you out of those handcuffs, all right? Finally, the officer seemed to regain some sense as he took some steps to make some amends to his previous action. Okay, I was actually just taking him over to the car to do it. All right, you're good. Do you want to call your mom? Yeah. All right, we can call your mom. Do you want to have a seat right there on the curb? Yeah, go ahead and sit on the curb. Right there. You're, you're good, you can stand, you can sit, it's up to you. I get it. The poor boy, still nervous about what was happening, was allowed to call his mother to come pick him up. As her mother answered the phone, she too was visibly frightened by the incident. Hello? Yes. You have to come pick me up. I gotta come pick you up. I don't know. What is it, here on street? Here on the street? The Kroger on here on street in 94. Nine, twelve on here on street, ninety-four. What do you mean? What's going on? My dad got pulled over. Wait, I'm, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm coming from here. She killed him. I'm on my way. Okay, just tell, just tell her everything's okay. He's all right. Okay. So just hurry, but don't hurry, okay? We don't want you to get into an accident. He, okay, he's, he's okay. Where? Here on street, where? Here on street, where? street, ninety-four. We're at the Kroger. Um. At the Kroger by uh, okay. McDonald's. There's a uh, powerhouse the gym Kroger. there, a shell station. We're right behind the shell station. In the following minutes, the boy waited for his mother to arrive, and the officers kept trying to facilitate him. While the officers' gestures were kind, it's important to note that pointing a gun at a kid can't be justified by any means. Y'all good? You need a water or anything? You thirsty? Yeah. Gatorade? Hey, can you? I'm gonna grab him a drink. Okay. You want a Gatorade or a water? Alright. Thank you. Yep. Uh, can you get, it's a, um, it's a bag in the car and it's gray and, um, yep. it's my grandma's gift. Okay, yeah, we'll make sure we get everything for you. They're gonna have to do some things with the, uh, car just because, you know, what happened. Okay. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll definitely make sure we get that for you. Don't worry about that. I know I asked you, but you're okay. You don't need the paramedics to look at you at all. Then hit your head. No. See, bolt was on all that good stuff. Yeah. Okay. And like I said, sorry about that initial stuff. All right. You want to? You want to go see your dad? Don't forget your. Uh, don't forget your Gatorade. Mom's on her way. Pointing a gun at a kid was something terrible to do, but the actions of the next cops will leave you shocked. What's going on? Why are you trying to dip out on me? No. <laughs> Door dog. Okay. You're door dashing right here? Yeah, I swear to God. Like, okay. this is where we was going. I can shut right here. Yeah, we were just doing nothing. That's why I was going. Can I see the address? Can you 
should still stop right away. Mm -hmm. All right, and you're not getting out of the car right now to deliver that. Okay, you got an ID on you? You have a Wisconsin license or no? No. You live in Arkansas? No, I'll, that's where I live. Well, yeah, no, but like I'm visiting here now. You're visiting right now? Okay. But he lives here before. What's your phone number, man? Right. You guys have IDs on you? Where is it? My big bag. Where's that? Right here next to me. You can grab it. Oh. You got an ID, man? Uh, yeah, hey, she said, well, you need an ID if it's a traffic stop. I'm just asking. He just asked. He was just asking. So you don't need to see it? Everyone inside the car was complying with the officer, and even though no one apart from the driver was legally obliged to give their license, the officer kept demanding it from all of them, eventually asking them to step out of the car. Tell her it smells like weed in here, and you guys are driving it. Okay. All right, why don't you step out for me? Yep. Why don't all three of you come out? I'm gonna search the car. Leave the phone in there, sir. Step out, leave the phone. Keep your hand out of your pockets. Hey, what's his name? TJ. Listen, he said leave TJ. Why you got my phone? The officer later claimed that he could smell marijuana inside the car and asked everyone to step out. Everyone did oblige apart from the front seat passenger who appeared to be a bit resistant. Phone in there. Why can't he have his phone? Why can't he have his phone? Because I'm telling you, you can't right now. We're investigating something. Is that a law? Put your phone in there right now. Put your phone in there. Put your phone in there. Put your phone in there. Because I'm going to search the car for marijuana. Okay. We're investigating something. You're not allowed on. Put it in there. I'm not going to ask you again. Please, it's a lawful order. So, it's a lawful order that we can have our phone. Put it in there. That's what you sound dumb. Put it in there. Put your phone in there. I don't care, money. You get a phone. I'm not going to ask you again. I'm not going to ask you again. You're going to ask your face on. Money up. Within moments, several police officers had also arrived on the scene as they attempted to hold him off and take his phone away. He kept on resisting until the officers resorted to arrest him. Turn around. Turn around. Stop. Stop resisting right now. Stop resisting. Stop resisting right now. Stop resisting. I'm going to tase you. I will tase you if you don't stop. Right. Grab my phone, bro. I can't have a phone for the phone. Pulse 211, 1080. Hey, sis, hey, can we record? Ain't that all right to record, Monica? Hey, ain't that all right to record? Step in front of the car. Step in front of the car. The officers proceeded to arrest him, causing an unsettlement amongst the other two individuals on the scene. It appeared as if he was just arrested for using his mobile phone, a right he was entitled to exercise as he wasn't detained at this point. He can have his phone, right? As part of the investigation. That's a question. He can have his phone, right? Not while we're doing an investigation. That's it. It's not an investigation. Y'all put us over some traffic. Stop. I didn't put it over. Exactly. So, bro, that's just not right. Turn to, we are trying to do a vest. I'm going to send you a location right now. Where are you going? Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What y'all doing? Hold on. What y'all doing? Hold on. Why are you arresting him? Oh, I just got here. Okay. He's under arrest. I heard obstructing. Okay. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I stopped my traffic stop, so just wait a minute. Okay, look, it's your traffic stop, so I cannot talk to you. Come here, come here. We don't got to talk to nobody else. Come here. Come here. Why is he getting arrested? Why is there so many people here? It's just three of us. Come here. What's going on? Come here. We don't got to talk to none of them. Okay. We're talking to him. Who pulled us up? I'm Tina. Put this down for a minute. We Hold on. Talk to no, you. Look. We don't got to put, put it down. Wait, we don't no, got to put it down. Okay. We don't got to put it down. Look. It was surprising to see several police officers arriving at a simple traffic stop. The officers kept on investigating the matter until they waited outside their car, delaying their DoorDash order. Hey. You need a warrant to search my bag. I wasn't driving. What's your last name? Why? Because you're inside the vehicle and this is an investigation. Why is it an investigation? It was just a traffic stop. Yep, and now it's turned into an investigation. Obviously, we've, we've got him, 
Take me in and give my name. You don't want to give us your name? No. Huh? Exactly. It's true. That's how dumb you sound. What is dumb ass? He looking at me dumb as hell. Is this yours? Yes. How many times I got to tell you, bro? Okay. A matter that should have ended in minutes with a simple speeding ticket was about to cause another arrest. Maybe the officers could have used a bit of de-escalation tactics to a more favorable outcome for everyone. You stand up for me. It could have been hers. It could have been hers. No way. That's a bad one. It's in front of the car. I'm in the car. It's here. Hold on. They're going to find out. Wait. Get up. Shut it down. Come grab my stuff. Here, bro. Come here, grab stuff. Here. Hey, AJ. Hey, bro, grab my phone. AJ. AJ, just shut the. Hey, grab my phone. I'm gonna grab. They right there. You don't have to say shit. Just pick the stuff up on the grass. Bro, don't touch my phone. It seemed like the cops had something against mobile phones. As he threw his phone to his friend, the cops once again went all over him and even proceeded to arrest the driver who had been cooperating throughout the encounter. Bro! Hey, what the f is wrong with y'all? What the f is touching him before I slap this f your boy in that? All right, let's keep everybody's stuff straight. That's his, that, them his keys. That's my You got my bag on you? Your bag, your bag, so you gonna grab it? Sure. You got the other side? Yeah. Hey! Hey, what the f Hey, get your knee off him! Get your knee off him! Just Bro. relax. Hey, hey, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Hey! Get your knee off of him before I Spread slap this out you. Hey! Bro, shut the who was you yelling at? Who was you yelling at? Within minutes, each of them found themselves sitting in the back of the police cruiser in handcuffs. Can you please unbuckle? The reason. Stop reasoning. Hold on. I'll give you the opportunity. Come on, bro. Y'all owe me for no reason, bro. Y'all owe me for no reason right now. Tell me why y'all owe me right now. Tell me why y'all owe me right now. You got your knee in my back, bro. I can't even breathe, bro. Like, what the fuck is going on? We're going to roll you on your side. You're doing too much. Get off me. Stop resisting! Break my wrist, bro. He's trying to break my wrist. Let go of my wrist, bro. He's trying to break my wrist, bro. Why is you grabbing on me like that, bro? I can stand up on my own. Let go, bro. You just said stand up. What did I do? But like, how? 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 How am I expressing when I've been standing there the whole time? Oh my God. All three of them were taken to the police station where they were charged with numerous charges including resisting arrest and possession of narcotics. All three of them posted bonds and were eventually released. The cops surely escalated a simple situation and their use of force and arrest were entirely unnecessary. These officers violated the rights of these people, but the actions of these next officers will make them appear as angels. Get in the car! Oh my god, I can't, I'm too big! It sucks to be you, Stop. get in the car! On December 3rd, 2021, officers from the East Ridge Police Department responded to a call for a well child check. On arrival, the officers found a black car parked outside the home with two people inside. Shortly after, the officer confronted the woman driving the vehicle. Hello. Hey, what's up? Hey, do you live here? Um, my daughter's living here. Is she? In, yeah. the, in this, is that 893? Yeah, it is. 893, okay. All right, hang on one second for me, okay? Something wrong? Well, we got called to check on a child. What well, child? I don't know. They didn't tell us. They just said do a welfare check. From when? Like the woman was identified as Angel Sherrod, who was accompanied by her son and had come over to her daughter's home to pick up her granddaughter so her daughter could head to work the next day. After listening to the welfare check, Angel became concerned and got out of her car. Yeah. What's her name? I going up to the door. Well, how old is the child? Two years old. Is there a two-year-old that lives here? Yeah. Okay. You want Tennessee 28? I bet it was, uh... Four, Mike, three, seven, golf, four. Why are you running my tag? Because I smell marijuana. You smell marijuana? 
Yes. Because you smell marijuana that gives you the right to run my tag? Not only that, I'm going to search your car. You're not going to search anything. Yes, ma'am. No, you're not. I promise you. You are not going to break my only, rights right now. You're about to get your rights in the back of my car. Well, it's, that's what you want to do because you, you're going to get in real big get you do because I haven't done anything. I haven't violated any rules or anything. You sit there and talk to me and, and to that talk I, to you. You're going to search I, my car. I am going to search your car. And you're running my tag. I am going to search your car. I'm not doing anything but sitting out here waiting for I my daughter care. to come back I don't out. care. Your car is going to be searched. And if you interfere with my search, I will put you in the car okay, and I'll take you to jail. Okay, you go ahead and you violate my rights then. Okay, put Let's your hands do on that. the car. You violate my rights. Put your hands on the car. Suddenly, the entire situation turned on its own as the officer expressed concern about the smell of marijuana coming out of Angel's car. At this point, Angel's daughter and her granddaughter both had come out of their residence. Yo, what are you... You're gonna put... You're, you're I you're said put me? your hands on the car. You're arresting me for Put what? your hand back up. Hey, don't you put your... The officer immediately became hostile as he used excessive force against the old woman. He even banged her head on the back of his police cruiser and kept pulling her hair. Angel kept crying hysterically throughout the encounter, and just a few minutes later, Officer Anna Simmons arrived on the scene as well and immediately adopted a tyrannical demeanor. Get in the car! Get in the car! Get in the car! Oh my god, I can't! I'm too big! Sucks to be you! Get in the car! I didn't Get do in. anything. You're a woman. You're going to treat me like this? You're a woman and you're going to treat me like this? You're going to get tased. Get listen, in the car. Listen. Get in the car. Get in the car. I'm getting in the car. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. Angel was even tased by the power-hungry cops, and she was in visible distress as she was locked up in the police cruiser. Angel's children, who were present on the scene witnessing all of this tyranny, began to voice their concerns to the officers, only to suffer the same fate themselves. Shut the f up before I take your to jail too. Get back. She just got run having a baby. You do not go away. Rest her girl. Do not push me. What is wrong? Who did it? I need to know who did it. Who did what? Who tased my? She mama? didn't get tased. Get tased. Then why was her taser going off over there? Checking the fire, I guess. Make that make sense. It does. She didn't get tased. So then why was her taser? How about you worry about you? That's we'll worry about, about your mama. mama. I don't really give a. I don't sound like it. Sounds like you want to join your mama. Okay. Y'all are so, violating our rights right now. What, which one? I Please want tell me my which mom. right you're getting I violated. I want my mom right tell now. Tell me which right. I want my so mom. So shut up. I you don't, don't know what you're Sorry, you guys. You sound like you're respectful. about seven. You want to act like a big girl, you're going to get treated like a big girl. Both of the officers showed blatant disrespect for Angel and her daughter as they even proceeded to lie about not deploying the taser. However, moments later, Officer Simmons had a different opinion of this. Uh, other than that, she's perfectly fine. What's up? Did I spin or she was a prong taser, right? No. Just drive spin? I'm just making sure. Yeah, no, she just drive spin. But I did it twice. No, I did it in her back and then like right here on her side. We're trying, we're talking about, we know the woman's going. We're I'm emotionally invested. Can I take her? Yes. Well, yeah. we, we were thinking. No. I love it when you do this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's fine. She calmed down. She was an asshole, but she calmed down. was poor and respectful. I don't really f do uh, I don't really want to take the other one. Well, I had to tackle her. That's correct. So. If somebody else wants to take her, I'm taking one I'm emotionally invested in. She wants Which one are you invested in? She wants the one in your car. <laughs> oh, well, I'll take you. Okay, that, I, by all means. All right, but I promise you take big one, you gotta take the second one too. As the officers had each one of them in handcuffs, they began laughing about the situation. Particularly concerning was Officer Simmons' behavior, who couldn't control her excitement after violating the rights of innocent people and arresting them illegally. Moments later, an ambulance arrived to take Angel to the hospital. Even at this point, the officers kept joking with themselves. Going to the hospital, I'm gonna come, I'm talking. I'm, I'm telling you what's gonna happen, okay? I just wanna know, is she single? This one. What? Is she single? I don't know, man. Ask her. Hey, she already got her. True love. Taking mom for disorderly conduct. 
resistant stop halt frisk. They are now separated. Um, I'm not sure if it's physical or verbal. If she ain't got insurance, I'm towing the car. You know, you're, we'll see. You're good. Yeah. But, it, but it could just, the car can just stay here. I mean, I'm we'll her see. daughter. I, and I please see. Please don't, like, it's already, like, please don't. Because, like, I want to get out of jail and I just want to uh, and I'm and I feel for you, and I'm not trying to cause you no headache. I want you to understand. She, right. I understand it's your mother. You just got to understand we have a job to do also. And we're not trying to jam you up or your mother or your mother up. Soon after talking with Angel's daughter, he went over and tried to talk to her son. Step out. Let's talk. How old are you, man? I'm 18, sir. 18. Mm -hmm. And I'm a man. I'm like you. Why you got to hit my mama like that, bro? You gonna keep the. All right, I tried. I tried. You see, I tried to I'm talk to you like a man. I tried to talk. Why you got to do her like that, bro? Get in the car. Like, I tried. I tried to talk to you. I tried. I tried. I'm not your bro. You, you see, I tried. You see, I tried to talk to him. How old is he? 18. He's old enough to take a ride. He goes to the big boy jail. He's going. That needs to go. Because he. he yeah, yeah, he gotta go. You tried to talk to him, he didn't want to talk to you? Yep. Hey bro, why you gonna hit my mom? I'm a man. I'm a man. Why you hit my mom? Angel's son was not released and was taken to the police station where he was charged with resisting arrest just for exercising his constitutional right to film. After searching her car, the officer couldn't find anything illegal and proceeded to leave. Listen, I want you to know how this would have went. Ma'am, I'm gonna have to search your car. Okay. I didn't find anything. Guess what? Have a good night. After getting her injuries treated, Angel was taken to the police station where she was charged with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. Soon after this incident, the judge dismissed the charges against Angel and her daughter. However, this wasn't enough as Angel decided to file a lawsuit against the police department and the officers involved in the arrest. Later in December 2022, the Eastridge Police Department announced that they had fired Officer Anna Simmons due to her excessive use of force. Well, this is surely not the last time a police officer arrested someone without any justification. Because I don't trust the police. Look at all the people getting shot by police for walking. Oh yeah, just for walking. On October 11th, 2022, an officer from the La Crosse Police Department attempted to stop 26-year-old Keaton Stein, who was riding his bicycle without a front light on. Despite multiple attempts from the officer asking him to stop, Keaton kept on riding at the same speed, ignoring his commands. Your narrative has been updated. He is still continuing north towards Salem. Southbound. You ain't gonna win, buddy. There's more cars coming. What do you guys even want? Stop the damn thing. You're gonna have a bike light out. It's just a damn bike light, you idiot. Knock it off. You wanna get bit? I'll send them right now. Within minutes, several officers were called as backup, and one of them even talked to Keaton from his car. That's all it needs. You wanna get bit? Then stop. You have no bike light. There's an ordinance for that. Then you'll be done. You don't need anything else. All you are is looking at tickets. If I have to get out and chase you, you're going to jail automatically. Because you don't have a bike light and you ain't stopping for police. What's the point? Why, why does it have to go to this dude? Why does it? Because you won't stop. You're the one making the decision, not me. But you need to stop when a cop asks you to stop. Says who? Says the law. Name the law. Obstructing 94641 param 1. Obstructing me on my way That's because you don't have a light on your bike. Keaton began to drive on before he was eventually stopped by an officer. Moments later, the cops were onto him trying to arrest him. On the ground. Get on the ground. On the ground. Get on the ground. I didn't do right now. Get on the ground. On your face. Ah, y'all have I'm, I'm pressing charge for this to leave. All right, chill the f out. Why don't you listen to it? Why don't you guys listen? I didn't do anything, retards. I already explained it to you. 
Oh, I didn't have a plate plate. All right, get the hell off my arm. Ah. All right, ah. chill the f*** out, my arm hurts. Stop resisting that. Please stop. This is f***ing bullshit, dude. You power hungry cops always trying to f*** with somebody. Guess what, if you would have just pulled over, it wouldn't have gone Guess what, way, right? if you just off and let me go home or we wouldn't be none of us would have this problem. Okay. Keaton was finally arrested by the cops and they went on to explain how this entire situation could have been avoided if he initially stopped. Keaton however claimed that the officers had no legal reason to stop him and he hadn't broken any laws. I wasn't f***ing doing anything. The only thing I was going to do is stop you and write you a warning for not having a A warning for not having a bike. Really? That's, that's exactly what I was going to do. You have nothing better to be doing right that's now. That's exactly what I was going to do. That you have nothing better to be doing. Nope, this is the best as it gets. Dude, what's your name? Do you have an ID on you? In your pocket? We're gonna have to search you anyways. Is it in there? I don't answer questions. Alright. Alright, get up. Easy on the f***ing shoulder. Criminal to the I'm riding my bike home and I get you guys tackling my f***ing bang. I'm gonna laugh too when he ain't finding nothing that you obviously seem to think you're finding. The officers proceeded to search him, whereas Keaton explained the reason why he started to flee. Because I want to get home. I don't want to with you guys. You guys are always trying to catch somebody up on some bull, dude. I know how this works. My name's Keaton. What's it say on the ID? Sorry. Why did you choose to be a cop? May I ask that? You feel like you're like doing uh, like good for the greater good or something? Like what? I don't know. Why do what you is it? Run really? from the police? Do you feel like you're because doing I don't good? trust the police. Look at all the f people getting shot by police for walking. Oh yeah, just for walking. Yeah, just for walking. Do you have a job? Why does it matter? I was gonna ask so you if you like your job. I do like my job when I have one, but no, I'm out of work right now. Technically, Keaton's perspective was strong considering all the police brutality online. He wasn't mentally prepared for a police interaction, which led him to flee from them. What the f you guys oh, want? Why is there six people here in an investigator? Because Undercover, or whatever. Because because you took off running. And where's my phone, bicycle? too? Don't there. my shit. All right, did we form a conclusion yet? Are we good to go? No, you're going to jail, like I said. I don't said. care. Can, I, can we go then? No, because you said you wanted medical What am I being arrested for? Uh, resisting. Yes, I do. Okay, then we're waiting to get the On my shoulder, my neck, my back, my side. Y'all better hope I don't need no more physical therapy or shit. Mm -hmm. Best believe the city be paying for that. You have to obey a lawful Because who the f are you? I go get shit less if you got a badge or not, dude. You ain't no better than me. I never said I was you're better than you. You're not my mother father or my mom. Well, I'm glad because I'd be pretty disappointed. You know what? No, what the that, that, that was like, dude, so f yourself. What's your name? Officer LeBrec? LeBrec. Get Ben. Can I ride like in your car or something? If like, I'm actually going? That'd be really f cool because you're the only one that's actually like, now trying to be on some f tough guy. Sorry for my language. I just got f***ing sacked off my bike. Is your shoulder dislocated? You shouldn't have f***ing tackled me. Is it dislocated? I didn't do to him, and I'm gonna get catch a charge for it. Yep. As if, dude. Yeah. Well, Whatever. this whole this whole situation could have been avoided. Yeah, if this whole situation stopped. could have been avoided. He could have been on doing something worth the time. I told you this is as good as it gets, bro. This is as good as it gets. Somebody on a bike. Yep. To find a new job. Nah, where's my phone? Don't touch my. <laughs> We're just gonna safety lock these so they don't send on you. Okay. The officers then escorted him to the back of a police cruiser as he was about to be taken to the police station. The officers even told him that he might be charged with a felony assault as the officer who tried to pin him down injured his shoulder in the process. And I'm sure my bike's gonna be gone now too long. Yeah, we're gonna take it for safekeeping or something for now. Uh, not a felony charge, right? It is a felony charge. Are you f serious, dude? Nope. Wow, wow, what the f ever, man. You, re you realize how badly that f me, right? Well, I'm not the one that chose to run from the place. Yeah, you, whoever the f dude, oh, yeah. hey, man. I swear to God, if this charge doesn't get dropped, dude, I'm, like, that's it. Like, my life is basically over. Great, for some f oh, you don't want on your bike. Congratulations, now you're f You didn't stab or anything when you didn't stab. Are you the one that said that? About if you were my dad, you'd be disappointed too. What's that? Are you the one that said that about my dad? I just said I'd be disappointed if I was your parent. Well, yeah. that's not. I didn't ask for your opinion as far as that's concerned. The officer was transported to a hospital where it was discovered that he had suffered a separated shoulder. Oh, just breathe, dude. Breathe, breathe, breathe. My camera's broke. We had literally had a conversation for four blocks while you guys were calling it all out. I was on. I just when I hit him, it broke. <laughs> 
I'm turning around right now. <laughs> I can tell us by looking at you how much lower it is right now. Yeah, this is not good. This sucks. I did not expect you to do bull rush him. <laughs> Plus, like, I'm not going to hit him with the damn car, so. No, he was stopping. What happened? Was he going this way, and then you just... I happened to be car. here. I was like, oh, here we go. I just flushed him. Well, it wasn't Keaton's fault as he wasn't the one attacking the police officer. Despite this, he was taken to the police station where he was charged with a felony of resisting an officer causing injury and a misdemeanor for disorderly conduct. It's a bad arm, right? Yeah. Have you been in here before or no? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you just go right over there and take a seat then. Take a seat right there. Perfect. Thank you. As of today, the charges against Keaton are still pending. Surprisingly, this wasn't the last time a police officer lost his cool, as this female officer did the unthinkable as she confronted an innocent person. On the 9th of May, 2023, a resident of Palm Beach Gardens, Ryan Gould was swimming in the swimming pool of his apartment complex, when a woman named Anna Ivanova came up and asked Ryan to swim in the other direction, parallel to her. Ryan, however, declined this, as he claimed this side was much longer. Both of them started to swim perpendicular to each other, and after just a few minutes, both of them ended up colliding on the end of the pool. That's when Anna decided to call her husband, who came over and attempted to intimidate Ryan into leaving. However, as Ryan resisted, his husband got closer to Ryan and displayed his firearm by lifting his shirt. Fearing this, Ryan quickly left the swimming pool and contacted 911. Soon after the cops arrived, but instead of calmly dealing with the situation, they proceeded to show unnecessary anger. Come in, how you doing? Hands out your pockets for me. I'm not the one to do Sir, I don't keep your hands out of your pockets. I down. haven't done a crime. Don't talk to me Listen like that. Listen to me. I don't know you. You Listen, can put that down. I don't know you. You're the one with the gun. Why Get down on the ground now. Get what down the on the ground. This? Get down on the ground. What the f? I told you not That's to reach for anything. I haven't committed a crime. You don't have any side. Hands out to your side. I haven't now. committed a crime. Officer Bethany Guerriero was the aggressor as she made no attempts to de escalate the situation. Instead, she forced Ryan on the ground and continued to make matters difficult for him. Put your hands behind your back. You can't get these. For yes, what? I can. For what? I don't know you. I don't know you. You're the ones with guns. <laughs> I'm detaining you right That's now. That's fine. You're detaining me for what crime? Because you don't want to listen. That's not a crime. You're f are your body cams on? Yes, they sure Good. are. Good. I called you guys for help because this guy's brandishing a gun at me. Sit down. I didn't say get up. I said get out. Jesus, where's Relax. your supervisor? I'm He's getting you. See how she's talking? Way. I haven't Relax. done anything. You don't Why am I listen. in handcuffs? I don't care. You're, You're not my mom. Because I'm You're not my dad. For a gun. That's fine. I don't have a gun. I haven't committed a crime. Do, when I told you to keep your come? hands out of your pocket, you not did my, it. I didn't commit a crime. You you don't get to tell me what to do. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Why are you yelling at me? Because I have every Who right to right you? now. Who are you? What's your badge number? 321 Guerrero. G-U-E-R-R-I. Make sure you spell it right. If you're this scared... Of a guy in a I've been here for 20 years. 20 years is important. We'll get back to that shortly. You're terrified of a guy in a swimsuit. I didn't do anything. You can shut your mouth. She now. just they just there. detained me. I explained. There's no gun. That guy I don't has detain a gun. anybody for no reason. Then what reason? Because I What crime did I commit for can you to you detain shut me? Shut your mouth so I can explain it to you. Are you in charge of this lady? Who's the sarge? This is absurd. Why am I in handcuffs on the ground? Can you, are you a yeah. supervisor? No, he's not. Can someone explain why I'm handcuffed on the No. So I can talk to you? Look, imagine calling the cops over to help you, and they end up arresting you instead of the person who brandished a weapon on you. Ryan was rightly frustrated and made sure to let his feelings known to the corrupt officer. You're terrified of a guy in a swimsuit. I didn't do anything. You can shut your mouth. She now. just They just detained me. I explained. There's no gun. That guy I don't detain a gun. anybody for no reason. Then what reason? Because I What crime did I commit for you, you to defend me? Can you shut your mouth so I can explain it to you? Are you in charge of this lady? Who's the sergeant? This is absurd. Why am I in handcuffs on the ground? Can you, are you a yeah. supervisor? No, he's can not. Can someone explain I why I'm handcuffed on the ground? Can you shut your mouth no. so I can talk to you? Look at you. <laughs> You're furious. What did I do? You did not listen. You're not my boss. Listen to I me. I don't need to listen to you. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Who are you? We got this is the only way. I didn't commit a crime. I don't give a fuck. I didn't commit a crime. She doesn't get to detain me. Yes, Pull I do. Gun. Even after recognizing that Ryan didn't pose any threat to them as he was unarmed, the officers refused to let him go and persisted with the arrest. Ryan proceeded to pose several questions on the laws, but the officers had no answers for him instead of issuing more threats. Pull her gun. On me. Because when put you put me your hands in your pocket, and I, I didn't commit a crime. I don't care. You you're don't that terrified? 
You shouldn't be a cop if you're that terrified. I've been here for 20 years, punk. Yeah, yeah, here, here. Can you ask this lady why I'm in handcuffs? Tell her what crime I've committed. I keep I've trying committed. to tell you Go ahead, what crime. you're talking over me. What crime? Okay, let's bring it down a notch, No, okay? just tell me what crime I'm in handcuffs for. Because I get called it because crime. someone is... What's suspicion? Yeah, you don't need to be in crime. Yes, you I don't do. Need to, 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 to pay me. To you need suspicion of a crime. No, you do she not. Po- yes, you do. You don't know the law? Please you explain it to him. You cannot just go around you, detaining you, random you people. Down. Can you calm down for can, a second? I'm in handcuffs for random. Down. Obviously, no, we're not getting anywhere. Up. I'll calm down if I can stand up. No, no you can have a seat on the ground. For what crime? I'm, what I'm I in do? charge, not you. No, you're not. And you blue nail polish, cute. Okay. Yo, yo, no, 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 no. I'm not going to do it. Sit down. What did I do? Sit down, all right? What did I do? All right, don't try to get up. Sit down. Ryan was surrounded by ignorant cops who kept on intimidating him. Despite facing this atrocious behavior, Ryan kept fighting for his rights. Can someone tell me why I'm in handcuffs? What crime or what? Right now, all I need you to keep your mouth shut. I don't care. I'm not going to do it. Arrest me. You are right. Yeah, I want to. Okay, arrest me. Go ahead, take me to jail. Go ahead, take me to jail. Take me to jail right now. Take me to jail. Do it. Do it. Oh, I will. Do it. I'm, I'm ready. Going to. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. What's your name, dude? Excuse me. What's your name? What's your Allow name? me to stand What's up and your name? No. no. Negative. Doesn't work that way. Okay. Tell Come me on. what crime I'm here for. It's fine. It's fine. You Don't worry about it. You are. Ready. You are. You're under arrest. For what crime? You have to give your name. You're already on arrest. That's fine. What crime, though? Don't worry. She already told you. She's already got Resisting, resisting arrest is a secondary charge. That's a secondary charge. It's not a secondary. Then take me to jail. I'm not You are going to jail. Don't worry about it. I got you. Ryan was right once again, as the officers had no legitimate cause to arrest him. However, sometime later, a supervisor arrived on the scene and began conversing with Officer Bethany. All right. The other guy that called is warms. Can you shut up for a minute so I can... Hey, hey, stop. I'm not going to stop talking. Stop. I'm not going to stop talking. Stop. 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 Arrest You are under arrest. I got you. Take me to jail. Good. Caller calls. I guess he was doing this, harassing the out of his wife, yelling and screaming. He's harassing the This one is harassing. His wife? Yes. Wait, the caller's wife or his wife? His wife. The caller has a gun. This guy came at him the way he came came at us and he opened up his shirt. He came out here. Me and, and Strzelecki were up. He's got his hands in his pocket and I go, bro, take your hands out of your pocket, right? And then when I hit, he didn't hit it, he goes, he goes and pulls the phone out and he goes to put it back and I said, keep your Officer Bethany seemed unaware of the facts, as Ryan had never threatened Anna. She was presuming things on her own and had done no investigation whatsoever to reach her conclusion. He gets on the ground and he tosses his phone to the side and I go, put your hands behind your back. So I cough him up and he's like, look at you, you piece of shit. You're fine. like, just went off. You have no right to detain me. He goes, resisting arrest is a, is a, is a second. And I'm like, what are you talking about? So obviously he's amped up on something. But when he, like the, the first couple of times when he didn't want to listen to me about keeping his hands out of his fucking pocket, I thought it was funny, I drew down on him. Okay. That guy. Finally, the officers decided to go over and talk to the person who brandished the weapon and caused all this fiasco. Yeah, I mean, my, my wife called me. This is where my, you know, my involvement started. My wife okay. called me. That's your wife? Yeah. Okay. Um, I was in the apartment three groceries away, and she called me and said that there was a guy harassing her at the pool. Okay. Was it that guy, guy over there? Yeah. Okay. Um, and so I just ran over here. Um, and as soon as I got here, he got out of the pool and started screaming. Um, at you? My, at, well, at me and my wife. Okay. Who was he um, saying? He was saying something like, your wife is f***ing crazy. She's, or she's f***ing crazy. She's making me move. Or I'm not going to move. And um, that's kind of how it started. It was just like, you know, basically throwing insults at my wife. Um, and But then he got out of the pool and he started like, you know, like swinging his arms up and down. Okay. Ryan's actions, however, appeared completely different to how this guy explained them. It was clear that he was lying to get out of trouble. Moving on, when confronted with the question of brandishing his weapon, he even proceeded to lie about that. You told that other officer that you put your hands up like this so that my wife's under the state. Um, I'm, I'm not completely sure, to be honest with you. I know it didn't come out of, of the pulse or anything like that. No, I didn't um, say it came out, but how was he able to know that you were armed? Because he called us and said that you were armed. So how did he know that? I don't know. I mean, if I lift my shirt up, you could see it. Okay. But, so did you want him to see that you were armed? Did you tell him you were armed? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. No. 
As Officer Bethany couldn't extract any concrete information from Anna's husband, another officer went over to try his luck. However, he suddenly started to have some health problems. Okay, I spoke to him. I'm trying to understand exactly what happened again. Can you explain to me from your perspective what happened? Oh, I, I mean, I think I already explained it as well as I can. The officer was courteous enough to allow him some time to recover. However, it's also important to remember that the same officers almost rushed in on Ryan and weren't ready to give him one minute. Soon after, another officer went over to him, making an attempt to gather information. Um, he started screaming, he started getting closer, he started calling up his fists. So he's walking he towards you? Yes. Okay. Um, and... Uh, I think then I think then my wife got closer to him, and I tried to insert myself in between them. Okay. Um, so at that point we were maybe like four or five feet apart. Okay. Um, at what point in time did you pull up your shirt? Somewhere in there. Okay. I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm really not sure. What was your intentions when you pulled up your shirt? Um. No, I'm, I really am not comfortable saying anymore. I'm not, I'm so hazy in my memory that I don't want to say the wrong thing. Um, I, can I, can I wait until I have a lawyer? Sure, that's absolutely. That, that's I mean, 100% gonna... up to you. Once again, he asked for time and the officers granted his request. In the end, the officers couldn't extract any evidence from him and decided to leave him alone. Ryan was also uncuffed and might go off without any charges. However, after the incident, the Palm Beach Gardens Police Department started an internal investigation against Bethany, which resulted in an interview. Now, when you arrived, you recall Mr. Gould was wearing a bathing suit and Crocs. When I arrived, I remember seeing Yes, a male wearing multicolored shorts. Um, and as I was pulling in, I could see him. And then to the, as he was walking towards me, he was now to my left as I'm starting to pull around. And just behind him by where the stop curb was, I noticed uh, a lump. I wasn't sure what it was at a time. If it was a shirt, if it was a backpack, if it was a towel, I wasn't sure. Out to his side, he, he at that point, was listening to my commands, but then once I had gotten him handcuffed, he's still verbally resisting because he immediately went to stand back up. The investigator made sure to grill Officer Bethany for her actions throughout the incident. Despite her attempts to evade the allegations, the body cam footage always gave a different story. Okay, but that, so we have eight seconds in between when he took his phone out of his pocket mm -hmm. and when you drew down on him. Okay. And in those eight seconds, the phone was out of his pocket. He made no other attempt to go back into his pocket, right? From my vantage point, I saw his hands drop. I don't know what else he's going for. I don't but know. When did you see his hands drop? So, from again, from my vantage point, before I even got out of the car, I saw this. I saw both hands disappear, which mm -hmm. prompted me to say what I initially said to him. Right. I mean, yeah, but again, like I said, I it, it, in my mindset at the time, like, that's... That's nerve-wracking. That's uncomfortable. I'm trying to do the best that I can at that point to make a scene secure. You know, I'm not saying that the last thing I'm thinking about is cover, but I'm, I'm trying to prevent an incident or a potential incident. Now, you handcuffed him, Mr. Gould. I did. At any time, because it's not clearly visible on video, was he searched? At that time, no. Bethany made several blunders throughout the encounter with Ryan, and at one time in the investigation, she began to acknowledge her mistakes. I'm not myself at that moment. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, what is happening to me? How do I, you know, verbalize this, that I'm having an issue, that this guy is still yelling and screaming. I'm still trying to maintain a level of control. There was a lot for me at that moment going on. You recall the things he was yelling? Just like, I don't have to listen to you, you're, you're not my mom. The comments that we discussed, right, mm -hmm. um, mocking his toenails, calling him a punk, etc. Would you agree that that is not professional behavior? I would agree, yes. I'm not going to dispute that at all. Okay. As the officer was concluding the investigation, Bethany recounted the time she was first told by her sergeant that she might be disciplined on this matter and started crying in front of him. So when I did ask him as my supervisor and someone I've known for 20 years, what's, what's going to happen? What's, what, what's going on? Um, 
I found it disheartening to hear him laugh that after I did get out of the hospital several days later that it was funny to him why I was asking him that AC Bechtel was, was calling for me. I had no idea at that point, and there's a time and a place for everything. We all know that. You know, could I have picked a better time and a place for my interaction with Mr. Gould? Absolutely. I own that. However, there was a time and a place to discuss something like that, and that wasn't the time. Okay. I had been humiliated in front of my spouse and two other officers by my supervisor, someone I've known for 20 years. After the investigation, the police department decided to fire Officer Bethany Guerrero. However, Ryan didn't quite settle for this as he proceeded to file a lawsuit against the officer, the city, and the police department asking for an undisclosed amount in damages. However, that's not the last time a corrupt cop brought his city a significant lawsuit. Turn around. You just said... Stop, Dick. Stop. I stop. Get my phone out. Stop. Wait, stop. Man, why are you putting stop. your hands on? On June 24, 2019, 52-year-old Mark Domino went to work on his motorbike, while his wife, who worked at the same retail store, drove there in her car. As he ended his shift, Mr. Domino proceeded to their car and looked inside it for a minute before returning to his bike on the other side of the parking lot. A bystander who saw this thought Domino might be stealing someone's car and notified the police. Soon after, as Domino was standing near his motorbike, an officer appeared and began confronting him. How's it going, man? I'm Officer Lores, Clarkson Police Department. You put your phone down for a second. What do you got in your pocket there? Is that just something hanging off your backpack? What is that, a hanger? hanger. What are you doing with that? Is this your bike? Yes. It's your bike? You got ID on you? Why do you need my ID? Because somebody saw you looking at cars, so I'm here just checking to see what's going on. You got ID on you? Yeah, I do, but okay, I do anything. Yeah, I'm figuring that out right now. I'll take a look at your ID, though. You don't need my ID unless I did something. Okay. Unless you're taking me in for something like that. Turn around and put your hands behind your back for right what? now. For now. What? For what? Turn for around and put your hands behind your back. For now. What? For what? The officer took no time to escalate the situation, and instead of calmly explaining to Domino what was happening, he pushed for an arrest without any legitimate cause. 108, pick it up. You're going you're gonna to obey me, or you're going to go on the ground. obey you? Because I'm giving you a lawful order. For what? Turn around and put did your I hands behind anything? your back. Did I do anything? Yes. What Turn around and put your hands behind your back. What did I do? Do you want to get tased? Do, excuse me? Turn around and put For your hands. For what? Hand. Do you know I work here? Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Do you know I work here? This is my bike. Okay. So what did I do for you to approach me and then tell me that put my hands behind my back? Sir. What are you arresting me for? I'm not arresting you. Right now you're not co uh, cooperating with for me. For what? And you're getting agitated. You me for, no, you asked me for my ID. Right. I don't have to give you my ID. Okay. Unless yeah. I've done something. What have I done? Turn around and put your hands behind your back. For what? Are you arresting me? And for I'm, what purpose? I'm detaining what? you. Detain me for what? Why are you a detainee? You're not, you're not even listening. What me. did I do for you to detain me? Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Was there a report that I stole something? Yes. There was a report that I stole something. Turn around. You just said. Stop, Dick. Stop. I stop. Get my phone out. Stop. Wait stop. a minute. Why are you putting stop. your hands on me? Domino began to grow increasingly aggressive, frustrated by the lack of clarity regarding why he was detained. If only threatening him wasn't enough, the officer also brought out his taser, directly pointing it at him. Stop. Why are you putting your hands on hey, Stop. Hey, stop. No, no, no. no. Stop. You're going to get tased. Stop. Your hands on me. Stop. Why are you putting your hands on me? Stop, stop resisting. You are stop. attacking me. Stop resisting. You got a call to use vehicle prowling. You match the description. Stop oh, resisting. Oh, black guy vehicle prowling? You need really? To chill out. Stop. Was a black guy vehicle? Stop. Why are you trying to take me down? Why are you fighting? Stop. Because you are trying to force stop. me. Stop. Take me down Dude, for no stop. reason. You're pushing me. Stop. Pushing what? Stop. I know my rights. Okay. Stop. I know my stop rights. Stop talking and stop fighting or we will use force. You're stop. using force now. Stop. We haven't even started. Oh, and I have to tell you. Yes, John. Stop. Record this. Stop. Additional units. Stop. Why are you detaining me? Put your hands behind I your back. Why are you detaining well, you me? Match the description of a vehicle prowl suspect. At this time, you're being uh, detained. Detained for what? What did he do? 
What did I do? Stop. I just told you. What did he do? Stalmano kept on resisting and attempted to break free from the officer's grasp, however. That's when the officer deployed his taser, causing the old man to drop onto his knees. You're under arrest for obstruction. Obstruction what? Obstructing what? Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Get on your scum! Stop resisting! You're gonna get tased again. What do you do? Roll He's a over. Proud suspect. Is he? Yes. Stop yeah. resisting. Just wait for the other guys. To get other units, pick it up. Clerks, you want to wait? Also, if you could have somebody contact our RP and see if she's still on scene. Just stay on your side, okay? No. Despite his resistance, the officers managed to pin him face first onto the ground and proceeded to handcuff him illegally. However, no one even tried to ensure whether Domino actually committed the crime or not. Arrest for what? Arresting we're, me for we're what? Not gonna argue right now. Arresting me for what is the problem? Just get him out of here. Yeah, what do you what do what you arrest me for? Stand up, man. That's first. Obstructing justice. Obstructing what? Huh? Obstructing what? Getting on my own bike? Getting on my own motorcycle? Check that from pocket. Okay, good. Moments later, the officer also confronted Jody Burnell, the individual who had made the suspicious call against Domino. You Jody? Yeah. Okay. Do you have your ID with you? Uh, I do. I'm over here. Okay. I'm Is, mom. Okay. Is that the male that you yeah. saw? Okay. Can you get me video? Male that came to this bike, everything that he did. He's an employee. We've got uh, a witness that saw him going into cars and we just fought and tased him. So, that bike, right there. Uh, that bike, male come to it, where did he walk? Which the cars? The car that he got into is clear on the other end. Okay, so you saw one male walking from all the way over there? Clear over to here. And it's, that's I, the male that we talked to? Yeah, I watched him, okay. he got into three doors of that car, and then he just walked okay. away and came clear over here, so okay. I thought, well, that's not right. Okay. okay. But the woman came Can over Can you and start looking at that for me? Yeah. Thank the you. woman came over and was okay. kind of pissed, saying it was his car registered However, finally, the moment of truth came as the officers were told about the mistake they had made. Despite knowing the truth, the officer made no attempts to rectify his mistake and instead continued to shift the entire blame on Domino. How many cars did he look at? Just the one. Baby. Just the one. Like, so one car, far. Like my pickup would be A gray Chevy Aveo was registered to him. The same as the bike. Okay. He could have... Clarkson 119 run and attach one. No, and then he started like he, he was just super agitated, super. I, I don't have to tell you my name. I'm like, listen, man, I, you know, so right now you're being detained, you know, and he got all jacked up. And so I'm like, okay, turn around and put your hands behind your back. I'm going to detain you. No, 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 no. And then once Rabbit got here, he reached into his pocket real fast and we went hands on at that point and sort of danced around with him because he's a big dude like this yeah. for a while. And then finally he wrapped his arm around me and I had my taser out already and I tased him and we took him down and finally got him cuffed, but we fought with him the whole time. Wow. So all he had to do was talk. Yeah, if you would have said that's my car, it could have been done in two seconds. This cop made a grave mistake, but you'll be shocked to see what happened when this officer's ego was bruised. Hey, stay in the truck. Stay in the truck and shut the door. If I have to ask you, if I have to ask you again, you're going to jail.
Nobody says no. Suddenly, the officer ordered another officer to take Tyler from the truck after determining that a ticket wasn't enough. Hey, he's being all... He, have him step out and sit on my car. The events that unfolded next were extremely shocking and horrifying, leaving everyone stunned. What began as a routine traffic stop for a seatbelt violation soon turned into a terrifying scene. Hey, 95, I'm done with it. 95. You ain't listening since I pulled you over. Go on, hey, hey, yo, get him. I got him, I got him, I'm on top. Put your hands behind your back. Watch out, watch out, I'm on tape. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm Real good. smart. Good. I just wanted y'all to get 10, 10, 95. I understand that, but we tell you, I wanted you to get a knife off of me so you wouldn't No, shoot. because you don't listen. That's the problem, because you don't listen. If I right, turn around. Man, 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 turn around. And I was trying to get y'all to get it off of me. Hey, get this on video, please. Tyler realized that he had a pocket in his pocket after getting out of the truck. To de-escalate the situation, he informed the police right away. Instead, he was forcibly pushed to the ground and tased by the tyrant cop. No, you're right, you sure do, because you don't listen gonna give you one ticket and a warning for the other, but you can't follow directions. I'm trying to get you to get a knife off of me. No. Over, over me trying to get you to get a knife yeah. out of my pocket. Ten, you beat my Stop. Hi, come on. Talk to me like a man, on, bro. Get... Talk to me like a man. Y'all the biggest gang in Catway to Cap. Have a seat. Don't even mess with her anymore. I'm not. Why y'all gotta be a gang? Why y'all gotta be thug, yeah, bro? Why can't you listen? Why y'all gotta be thug? Why can't you listen? I asked you, hey, you brother. I asked you to get a knife. You asked if I had a weapon. Can you shut up? Can you shut up? Can The situation took another unsettling turn when the officer approached Tyler's wife, who had been recording the entire encounter. The cops started to bully and threaten her instead of handling the matter properly. Friend, no, that is my husband. Your husband has really bad listening problems. Yeah, that's um, because you. So you he's going to catch up. Uh, okay. What's his? I don't even know the guy. His name's Tyler, but so, you've done uh, this to him so, several different times well, in the first. Here's the deal: if he'd stop giving me a reason to stop okay, him, he wouldn't well, get pulled over. I don't even recognize him. Okay, well, I stop hundreds of cars that's a year. Okay, but so. did you give him a seatbelt ticket? I was working on it, but he yeah, won't but listen. Yeah, yeah but now he's gonna catch it on charge. Yeah, okay. So I'll let you call when he's bonded out. Yeah. Hey, you got? Don't yeah, if he would just shut up and oh, okay, I think you take that. No, not right now. Absolutely not. No, you sit in your car. No, yeah, you're free to go. get out of here. Uh, you want me to drive don't talk. You don't have to talk to me that way. You need an ambulance at all? You heard it all? However, Tyler's experience was far from over. Even after they had already tased and detained him, the cops kept on threatening to charge him more. I was going to bushball him. Now the, her, I, re I recognize her. I never recognize her. I recognize her. Haze me, don't leave that oh, out. Oh, I'm not gonna leave it out. Yeah, don't leave that out of there. He choked me, had me around my throat. No, my, my elbow was on your upper or your lower, lower chin. Yeah, might have been on your neck. So I. Don't leave none of that out. Don't okay. leave none of that out. Well, hey, it's sir. We have to do what we gotta do to get you in yeah, custody. Aggravated right. assault. Well, I need you to go take warrants out for that then, since we did aggravated assault. We're sitting here trying to place you under arrest, and you're well, resisting. The officer could also be heard making fun of Tyler's request to go to the hospital for his injuries with his colleague. Uh, when I'm on the way. Huh? When I'm on the way. I don't know. You have service out here? Can you call for? Let me go to the hospital. I mean, yeah. Go ahead. That's, hey, you get two for one. That's amazing. 
God. Thank you, guys. Y'all are good. If you, good. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. Hey. Uh, medic said the dude's good, um, but he said that he wants to go to the hospital because his right leg hurts or right knee because he's had a surgery in the past. Yeah, the medic said they cleared him, but he, he requested to go to the hospital because his knee hurts. Not too long after, the officer who had ordered Tyler out of the truck returned to talk to him about the whole thing. I had forgotten that I had the okay, knife. Okay, that's fine. I wanted one of y'all to remove the weapon mm -hmm. so that I was considered unarmed okay. at that point. So do you, do you understand when I said hold on, have a seat on this hood? That meant that hold on. make me feel safe okay, that, still that, having a knife that, in my that, pocket that, around that, both of you when the situation is... Okay. But do you know what you're doing? Heightened. But but do you know what you're doing? It wasn't heightened for me at all. I don't know about y'all what happened before I got here, but it wasn't heightened with me at all. He's been after me, brother. Okay. He's looking for a reason to get me, and he just I, found it, and you helped him beat my ass. I, I, I can promise you. I can promise you. I know plenty of officers. Uh, okay. This dude's a dick. Uh, okay. You may not be. You may be a really good well, dude. Re regardless of all that, I'm talking about the situation at hand. I, I told you to hold on, okay? And when you don't listen... That's obstruction, man. Okay, regardless if you're well, saying you're saying I have a knife I'm on me or not. Safe. Okay, but uh, regardless regardless okay. if you're saying your I have safe, a knife. My safety should be your utmost concern. Well, that, that's something you're just going to talk to your attorney because I, I disagree. I told you to hold on, okay? The officers proceeded to lie about the details of the event as an attempt to cover up for what they had done. He told me. So y'all should have said, look, sir, you're, you're, you're not listening. You're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. Okay. I would have complied. Okay. This should be a, a training lesson, a learning well, lesson. He did. He, he did say. He did say you're under arrest. Put no, your hands on your back. No, he, he, he did, sir. I, he he no, did. I, I promise you, he did. I heard stop resisting. I didn't hear nothing well, about your under but, arrest. Before, I thought y'all were beat. Just a beat. Before, out here in a park lot. before all that, he did say you're under arrest. Put your hands on your back. He did. Whether you heard it or not, I heard it. I know he said it. He said it. Y'all yeah, supposed to make sure I hear it. Y'all start to give me man enough respect to turn around and put my hands behind my back. Y'all didn't do. Well, I, I, I barely touched you to put your hands look, on your man, back. I'm and a you, grown man. If mm. you look at me to the eyes and say, hey, man, we're going to have to take you to jail, mm. put your hands behind your back, I would comply with you. Whether mm. or not I like the situation, mm. I would comply with you and say, yes, sir. And I'd turn around and put my head behind my back. Everything y'all just did to me on that concrete right there is. When the aggressive cop was asked if he was sure before taking such a harsh action, even the officer appeared a bit nervous about the event that unfolded earlier. So that, that would be a question for, for him. Were, were, you, were you arresting him? At, at yeah, the, at the, for obstruction. Yeah. Okay, for the Because that's, that's the sixth time he wouldn't listen. Okay, so yeah, he, he said he was 95 and 100 percent. I don't know everything that happened before, but that was what happened at, at my... So he was saying 100 percent he had enough for, for misdemeanor obstruction. He wasn't listening. Was 95 in them for all that. Yeah. That I, like I said, I have I have, all, I have no clue anything uh, prior to when I got there. All I know is I told him to have a seat on the, the hood. And I told him, I understand that you were letting me know that you had a knife, but he was basically what he was trying to do was trying to dictate the stop um, off, off of that. Like I understood he was he had a knife, but I'm telling him to have a seat, Tyrrell get the knife off of him. He's like, well, I didn't want y'all to shoot me. I said, dude, did I have my gun out on you? Like. Did I have any, like, was I sitting there saying, like, oh, God, no, he's got a, uh, he's got a knife. No, I said, that's fine. Have a seat. We'll get it. You know, like, basically trying to dictate the stop off of his emotions towards tear pulling them over. Throughout the interaction, the officer displayed a pitiful demeanor and was unable to control his ego. Tyler was finally taken to the police station and charged with both seatbelt violation and obstruction of an officer. Then I put him on the ground. He got back up. I, I don't know if he was trying to run or what he was doing. And then I put him back on the ground forearm was on his like the side of his neck and his his chin and he's claiming I, I choked him but I mean it was like I was even remotely afraid that he had the knife you know I asked him if he had any weapons he said no got out he remembered he had a weapon which is understandable but when I say hold on have a seat on the on the hood I will get the knife because there's a passenger I'm trying to deal with the passenger also and doesn't want to listen and starts hooping and hollering because he's got the knife no y'all come get me before y'all shoot me and all this you know, that's him trying to dictate the stop and, and change the stop, how it, you know, how it's going, so. But, and then when we go place him under arrest for the obstruction, him not wanting to listen and all that is when the fight was 100% resisted, tried to pull his arm up front, 
then I put him on the ground. He got back up. I, I don't know if he was trying to run or what he was doing. And then I put him back on the ground. Forearm was on his, like, the side of his neck and his, his chin. And he's claiming I, I choked him. But, I mean, it was like I had force on his lower chin, up, upper neck area. It wasn't like on his tracheum or anything where I'm, like, choking the crap out of him. He, I can't remember exactly. And I don't want to. I had to look. But. I want to say he was even like flaring his arms and stuff as well, like almost hitting me. So uh, I'm not gonna, I, I don't want to say that's exactly what happened. I don't really remember. I didn't get hit in the face or anything. So that's, you know, but yeah, the, okay. Sounds good. Well, I'll, uh, I'll let his uh, wife know who's still up here that if she wants to make a complaint, just contact the sheriff. I'll, Call Phil. Lou said, just not out the use of force. I'll, I'll go talk to her. She likes me more than you. Oh, uh, yeah. About, about the. However, the prosecutor quickly withdrew the charges against Tyler, and Tyler chose to sue the officers involved as well as the police department. While this officer abused his powers, the actions of the next officer will leave you stunned. I did not threaten you at all. You're going to. Why am I going to? You didn't even detain me or anything. Officer Tammy Adler from the Waterbury Police Department was upset about something, so she decided to vent her frustration on the poor bystanders. That was in my car. She was not being attacked at all. I have it all on video. We just wanted to set why are you arresting her? Man, why is she being arrested? I want to know why she is being arrested. Alana, Alana. Back up. Just sit there. Yes, you just, are. just sit there. Yes, you, are. you too. I want to know why she is being arrested. Everybody will know, but you guys are. I want to know why she's being arrested right this second. I just showed up too. Okay, so, well, I want to know why she's arresting her. But I promise she, you, my sister has not done I nothing to you. you before I leave. Man, can I speak to her? Before we leave, ma'am, why is she being arrested at the moment? Because she was at my door threatening me. She was Officer Adler goes on an arresting spree and arrests everyone who comes her way. Her actions resulted in a trail of unjust arrest and disruption among the civilians. He's, he's too. He's she gave too. your back. I, I did not re-threaten you at all. I did not threaten you at all. You're going too. Why am I going to? You didn't even detain me or anything. You are not telling me I'm being detained. Give her, no, give her my phone. I record the every single second of it. Second of it. Because I am being arrested for asking you for your name and badge number. I am being arrested Denver, for asking you to her, identify yourself as her, an officer. Him. Why am I being arrested for him, being asking you what your badge number is? Get in my car, alright? I am asking her, why am I being arrested him, for asking you what your name and badge number is? I'm literally asking you. Do you want to watch the video? I'm literally sat here asking her what her name and badge number is. Her, especially number 70. She's going to. This one too. This one too! Come on! This one too! I don't have to get over here! All we can do is hope that these citizens stood up to the cops, holding the cops accountable for their actions and demanding their rights from the state. And if this wasn't bad enough, just wait for the next officer. Now! On July 16th, 2019, a Cashin police officer was on his routine patrol route when he saw a car with a broken taillight. He immediately pulled the car over and went over to confront the driver. Hello. Hi. So what's going on with your truck? It's been hit and we're waiting to see if I can't find a bed for it, a short bed. It's drivable. Yeah, but it's not legal because you got a busted taillight. You got your driver license insurance on you? How long ago has it been like that? Uh, probably about six months. Oh, okay. Well, you've had plenty of time to get it fixed. I've driven it up here a lot. Okay. Gotcha. Related to Hank? I'm his mother. Oh, okay. Get your insurance. The driver was identified as 65-year-old Deborah Hamill, who herself admitted that the light had been broken for six months. The officer demanded her ID as he was about to write her a ticket. Miss Hamill, since you informed me that you've had that for six months. Oh yeah, and we're just looking for a bed because we can't find a short bed. I mean, my brother's you, looking for it. We're can all... you at least get the light? I don't know if I can get the light. Uh, they've got lights on them, don't they? They do have lights in them and they do work. Well, you're, because... it's broken. Yeah, I know it's so broken. So if you hit your brake lights, that white bulb's going to blind somebody at night. Oh, okay. Well, can that's, you put red tape on it? Will that work? Yeah, but I don't think... 
I don't think red tape's gonna help you there. You don't have a, enough plastic to tape over. The officer then calmly gave her an $80 ticket, which she surprisingly refused to sign, claiming that she only deserved a warning. They have till September what? 16th to take care of this, uh, get you to sign there with the X's. So you don't even give a warning for this? You've been driving around for six months like that. I'm truthful. Well, I'm not going to give you a warning for something you've been driving for six months. But you, you've seen me in here. You've seen me in no, town. No, I, I haven't. You had to have been up here. Nope. Either way, I'm issuing you a citation. Sign there, please. Well, I don't want to sign it because I don't want to do $80. You don't want to sign it? No, because I don't think that I deserve to pay $80 for something that is fixable and I can fix it. All right. That's all you want to do. Go ahead, step out of the car. Why? Because you're, you're under arrest. Step no, out. I'm not. Step out of the vehicle. No, I'm not. Step out. No. Step out. I'm giving you a lawful order to step out. Deborah refused to sign the ticket, and the officer quickly went over to arrest her. However, she once again refused to abide by the officer's command and locked herself in the car. Moments later, she did agree to sign the ticket, but the officer told her that it was beyond that point. That's when she did something incredibly stupid. You be fair with me and I'll be fair with you. Step out. No. You're under arrest. No, I'm not. I'm placing you under arrest. Step you out. You are full of because you're not placing me under no damn arrest. Step out. No, I'm not. Three no, I am not. Real, three. Do not, do not oh, take shut off. shut up and give me that and I'll sign it. Step out. No. no we're beyond that. Do you want me Step to? Step out. She didn't go too far and stopped at some distance. The officer quickly exited his vehicle and confronted her this time with a much more aggressive demeanor. Get out of the car! 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 I am not. You better leave me! Put your hands behind your Leave me alone! She kept on resisting and forced the officer to pull her out of her car. She could have easily put an end to this stop by simply signing the ticket, but things were about to get even worse for her now. Put your hands behind your back! No! Now! Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! Lay down and put your hands behind your back! Now! No, you will not! You're gonna get it again! Last, the officer had her in cuffs, but only after deploying his taser. He then called for EMS and backup to arrive to take care of the old lady. Do you realize you just got yourself in a whole lot more trouble? What? For running? Oh, I didn't run. I told you you weren't going to arrest me. I pulled in here thinking that you would not. Here. Go ahead. Go ahead and roll to your... On your butt. I'm Are you hurt? Yeah, I'm hurt. What hurts? Everything. All right, I got EMS on the way. Just hang tight. You got a what on the way? I got an ambulance on the way. Check you out. Ambulance? I don't need an ambulance. Well, you got taste, so they gotta check you out. Well, can you just stand me up? Yeah. Oh, I'm hip. Wait, oh, don't do the arm. Debra was in a really bad condition, but she had no one else to blame but her for this, as she left the officer with really no other option. Yeah, if you don't mind, help me get her up. There we go. Come on over here. Yeah, 
10 4. She's in custody. Sir, you guys go stand over there. All you do is sign the ticket. 305, you like Don't you realize? Listen, that way. Hold on. 305, can you 10 9 that? The officer managed to make her stand with the help of two kind bystanders and eventually took her to his police cruiser. That's, that's the taser core. They're going to get that out of you. All right. Get it out of me. Yeah, there's two prongs in you. Two prongs in me. Oh, cute. Go ahead and have a seat. I'll turn the air on. I'll let you cool well, down. Can you pull your seat up or something? Or that's, that's as much as we got. So, why didn't you take off? Because I knew that you would arrest me. I and wasn't I, going to. All you had yes, to do was you, sign a ticket. But can you, well, just listen to me a minute. Do you know that nobody, nobody wants to come to Cashin for any reason whatsoever? Because they know it's going to be an $80 fine for some dumb something all the time. Well, when you're driving around like that, where do you think you can go driving around and get away with like that? The ignorant woman was still not accepting her mistake as she considered herself above being held accountable for her action. You're the, just you're, the citizens. you're saying the Hamels. The citizens. Guys. The citizens of Cashin. All right. The citizens of you break the law in Cash and we're gonna enforce it. Yeah. Whether you're a Hamel or not. Mm -hmm. This lady may have acted like a Karen, but this next officer did the unthinkable and felt no remorse whatsoever. The other guy's like, alright, I'm out, peace. Get off the bike. What? Okay, okay, okay. What do I do? Ow. Officer made no attempts to converse with the rider regarding the stop and straight away knocked him to the ground, also damaging his bike in the process. Kyle remained clueless and was terrified to see what was happening. What? Like that? It's not my. It's not even my bike. It's my dad's. Sorry? It's not even my bike. It's my dad's. Your dad's. Huh? Am I gonna fuck like that? I mean, you probably already f from slamming into the ground. I don't know, man. You got a driver's license on you? Yeah. The officer had proceeded to handcuff him as well, and it was then that he came over to demand his ID. Instead of asking for identification before him, the officer resorted to force, which was utterly appalling to witness. Do you have any ID on you? Yeah, I just said. It's in my pocket here. For this jacket pocket, yeah. Right, let me just get your ID and then I'm going to uncuff you, alright? Alright. Got insurance in there too. Oh? Yep. Yeah. Slide one knee up. And 
just like that, Kyle was out of handcuffs. The officer tried to explain his earlier actions, and you'll be shocked to see how he tried to cover himself. I would have pulled over. So, so the reason normally we would. Yeah. When guys hide the plate, yeah, they don't pull over. They take off. Well, if guys are gonna take off, they won't have a license plate. To be fair. No, but what they do is they do like what you do, where you tuck it behind the fender. I've had guys where they'll put magnets and then just yeah. flip it down. But I mean, if you're gonna run from the cops, you wouldn't want you wouldn't want a license plate anyways, right? No, I, I wouldn't think so. But they yeah. do it, and they put stolen plates on there and, and yeah. whatever else. Fair enough. Um, so that's that's why I have to do that. It's just so you wouldn't fly. All right. Um, but anyways, all right. Uh, I'm just gonna run your plate as long as everything's okay. You're good to go. Well, actually, this wasn't a traffic stop to begin with, but an assault on the poor driver. Realizing that he had messed up big time, the officer tried to get off the scene as quickly as possible. No, it's like that. This is all bent and shit now. Yeah, like you see how it's all bent now? It's like bent like this. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna give it a little bit. Yeah, everything's simple. You didn't have to like throw me off the bike. I wasn't trying to throw you. I was just trying to hold you so you wouldn't like. <laughs> you threw me, man. Come on. However, Kyle was not going to slide his loss so easily and demanded reimbursement from the officer. His response once again will shock you and will prove how such assaults are too common for him. Well, I gotta make this right, so what can we do? I, I don't know, you tell me. I've never had a situation like this. I mean, generally, they pick it up and drive off. I don't know, <laughs> uh, I don't know man. Like. Is there like a reimbursement for my fucked up handle bar? I don't know. You just put it in. Like, I, I, I look into it, but it's my bad. Like, it's my fault. Yeah. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's not even my bike, which is like the fucking worst part about it. Let me get my sergeant here see what we can do for Okay, thank you. Try to start it in the meantime and. Okay. The officer refused to take any accountability for his actions and showed no remorse for the assault he had committed. Kyle stood there for some time before he just departed on his way. As of today, Kyle plans to take legal action against the officer and the police department regarding this assault. We can only hope that he gets justice and that the corrupt cop is held accountable for his actions. Surprisingly, it's not the first time an officer was caught lying on the camera and had to do a walk of shame. It's the First Amendment. You cannot restrict my speech, not unless it's fighting work. In July 2022, YouTuber Joshua Lloyd was filming himself out in public as he was engaged in a public recreational activity when an unknown bystander called the cops claiming that he looked suspicious. Soon after, a couple of officers from the Phoenix Police Department arrived and confronted Mr. Lloyd. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon and we'll see you later. Oh, hold on. We got the cops. You're gonna run my license plate. Good morning. Morning, can I help you? Uh, I don't know, can we help you? Do you live here? No, but this is public, correct? Uh, I'm not sure on that. It could be private property. Could be, but if there was, I do believe there would be a sign posted somewhere, right? Not necessarily. Oh, uh, well, I mean... So somebody called on you. Mr. Lloyd, who was standing at a public place, had no reason to be removed from there. The officer, however, refused to understand the situation and kept escalating the situation as he tried to search his car parked down the road. Is that your car? That is my car. Okay. Um, well, if it is public... Uh, I mean, I would figure it's public. You have electric access here. You have you property? have a you is have a you have a right there? state issued sign. Is that public property right there? Where? Right there? Yeah, right just north of us. Could possibly be because it's easement. Is there anybody in the car? No, just me. But if you want to go check, go ahead, go check. 
Is that, can I get your permission to do anything else? No. Do I need your permission? No, do because- Do I need your permission to check the car? You would need my permission to go inside the car. No, but you just said if you want to go check if there's someone else in the car. Do I oh, need yeah, to? yeah, yeah, go check no, and no, you can go look no, in no, and see if- me, go ahead. Do I need you to tell me to go ahead to do it or can I do it on my own? Well, I mean, you could do it on your own. You okay. can do a plain right. view search. Okay, good. 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 Making sure I've, like, I thought you were under the impression you had to give me permission. To go inside the car, you need permission. Suddenly, the officer's attention switched to his car as he went over to check the tags of the car. It seemed the officer had made the situation personal, driven by his ego, and was trying to escalate the situation. I mean, would you guys like my name? I'll give you my name. You don't have to run the plate for it because my name's not on the plate. What's your name? My name is Josh. Josh? Mm-hmm. Josh what? Lloyd. L-L-O-Y-D. L-L-O-Y-D? Correct. Is it Josh or Joshua? It's Joshua. Hey, Phil. Joshua Lloyd. Huh? Joshua. You're not towing my car. We may have to tow it. It's not registered to him. It's registered to a female. It's a ban It's left on the roadway running. I'm not going to leave it here. Oh, just, just running. So let's get a hold of uh, really the boss, and we'll find out if for safekeeping. Otherwise, somebody's going to make off with this thing. Yeah. Are you serious? Wow. The car actually belonged to Lloyd's mother-in-law, and she was aware that he was driving it. However, once again, the officer had no legal authority to conduct a search, as there were no reports or complaint of a stolen car. Not even going to question me on who's, who it's registered to? Would you like the insurance and registration? Oh, you're not driving it. Why would I ask for that? Oh, I am driving it. It's just you're, parked right are now. You in, are you driving it right now? No, it's parked. Okay, so you're not driving no. Um, sure, what's your name? Joshua, Joshua Lloyd. Joshua Lloyd. J O S H. Uh huh. L L O Y D. What's your birthday, Josh? You can also look me up on YouTube under okay. You People. I'm going to try. I'm going to try and. Uh, yeah, I know I do, don't I? I'm going to try and get a hold of the owner, see if they know where the car is. Otherwise. Uh, she'll tell you that her son-in-law has it. One of the officers remained calm and looked much better than the tyrant cop who had made the issue more personal. Lloyd kept venting out his frustrations before the officer confirmed that he was legally okay to drive the car. I'm not trying to catch you in anything, man. I mean, asking a simple question. Why are you going the third degree? Because I'm standing on the side of the side of the road filming a wall and not even asking me what I'm doing. That's a hell of an investigation skill you guys got there. Okay. Have you been allowed to use the car? I live with her, yes, and I'm allowed to use the car, okay. hence the reason why I have it. Okay, all right, well, we're gonna do some research, find out whose property that is. You've got your name, your information. Um, if it turns out that it is private property, um, then I'll author a report for trespassing. I don't think and it would be private well, I, property I because I what I was doing well, was a public event. Josh, so you guys never even Josh, asked me. To your it was later confirmed that the sidewalk where Lloyd stood was indeed a public space. Despite realizing that Mr. Lloyd had not violated any law, the officer showed no remorse and continued to be difficult, refusing to simply acknowledge his mistake. I don't think. That's why I'm going to find out for sure if, whose property. Okay, you go to. go ahead for sure. Okay, well I'll do it later. Again, here's the thing: I don't need your permission to check out whose property it is, but I appreciate you giving me the go ahead. I will look into that. That's Can your I have card. your name and badge number? Your, your card. Eight six three two. Your card, please. I have a bad memory. Eight six three two. Eight six three two. You're you're recording it. Okay. Yeah. Can I have your card, sir? We don't have. <laughs> okay. Can I have your name and badge number, please? Yeah, uh, All right. Thank you. I greatly appreciate that. Hey, Josh, would I could do some further research before you go on a property. My 
The officer didn't even tell his name to Lloyd, something they are legally obliged to do so. Despite being rude throughout the encounter, he kept bullying Lloyd, and that's when he decided to give him a lesson in law. You know, you know, hold on, hold on. Before before you go and give me the lecture, how about how about this? Before you come up all hard on somebody, how about before you come up all hard on somebody, you ask them what they're doing. Just, just tell me what you're trying to make known to me. Uh, do you could ask me simply at the very beginning, Josh, very nicely, hey, what are you doing? Josh, do the research and find out whose property you're on because you may be breaking the law. It's public property, I can what? tell you that. You're stating that as a fact. I, I am. I'm stating it as a fact Josh, because I like you guys. Uh, well, now you're using more profanity. I can use profanity. No, it's the can't. First Amendment. No, you can't. It's the First Amendment. Not you cannot restrict my speech, not unless it's fighting words. If I use it to emphasize my sentences, I can use it to emphasize my sentences. If one man's curse word is another man's lyric. Shortly after, the officers left the area leaving Lloyd alone, but not before trying to violate his First Amendment right. Kind of situation where you're waking up people and they're offended by your profanity, it can be an issue. Josh, we're going to do the research. We're going to do the research. Down. Have a good day. You too. Well, guys, I got two videos out of that. 811-229-G546HY. Mr. Lloyd was not disturbed any further by the cops as he kept on filming the area. Shortly after this incident, he also filed a complaint against the conduct of this officer. Although the officer may have not violated any of his constitutional rights, but his demeanor throughout the encounter was very aggressive and appalling. Well, that's not the last time a person was harassed while trying to record in public. You like it? No, I think you're a nutcase. Oh, jeez. How's that? Okay. On the 19th of April, 2024, First Amendment auditor and YouTuber by the name of Press NH Now went into the Baldwin Town office to conduct a First Amendment audit and to exercise his right to film in public buildings. Shortly after, he encountered two officers who appeared a bit tough at first. Hey, you guys are the planning board? No. Oh. What are you looking for? I just saw a sign What do you want? Yes, it's planning board. What do you want? Oh, I was just wondering if this was a planning board. No, I'm code enforcement. Oh, code enforcement. You a constable or? No. Oh, okay. I know some code enforcement. Meets here. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, cool. Uh, who exactly are you and what is... I'm, I'm just taking tour of the building. That's all. All right. Yeah. Just you know, what was Huh? He's taking a tour. Just taking Why? a tour and... Why? Why not? <laughs> all right. Why not? You work here or? Yeah. What do you do? What's your... You're on the plan. I asked you that. No, you said it's just the planning board meeting, and it's not. Well, no, I was just saying planning, planning board meets in this room. Meets in this room. I am on the planning board. You are. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Cool. You good? I'm, I think so. All righty. Thank you. Moving forward, the auditor decided to head to the meeting room, but was immediately confronted by the animal control officer, claiming that he was not authorized to be inside. They must do their meetings. It's kind of an old building. It kind of looks like a school of some sort. Oh, how you doing, man? Good, good. This room is actually not open to the public. Oh, a hundred percent it is, man. Hundred percent. People come in here for meetings, right? Uh, when it's open. Yeah, it's it's open. The door's oh, so open. Was it unlocked? Of course it's oh, unlocked. It should be unlocked. It's supposed to be unlocked. Yeah. Well, were you guys having meetings and okay. something wrong with that, is there? No, I, I, I just uh, caught my... me off guard. I was like, oh, geez. It's no, not usually no. any, anybody supposed to be in there. Oh. My bad. The people are supposed to be in there. The auditor kept filming and decided to go back to where the code enforcement officer, Don Kent, was. But this time, the officer had an unusual reaction to being filmed. What are you doing now? The same thing I was doing about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I can't hear you. Oh, you're closed? The officer appeared confrontational without any reason and even made threats to the auditor. However, the interaction wasn't over yet as he returned to the town clerk's office to complain about it.
Yeah, I'm right here now. What prop? What are you talking about? I didn't say that. Admit what? You just said you were coming to my house. You assumed that I was. You said you were. I didn't. I don't know. I mean. Well, you're, not, you're not going to stop. I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> Why would I? Well, you're a cop? No. What are you? Not a cop. What's the badge mean? The auditor never suggested or claimed that he would be going to the officer's home. In fact, he was the one who had deduced this from nowhere. However, he wasn't left alone as he was confronted by a veteran who became ingressingly aggressive from the get-go. Um, uh, you'll have to ask him. I don't know who, who he is. He's just... I'm just a normal, what are everyday citizen. Here? Who are you? I'm just a, I'm just somebody down here trying Me? to get... Two flags, the American flags up on Beautiful. Channel 7 that are shredded, hanging Sweet. up, and nobody takes them down. Yeah, hopefully not, right? Yeah. You want something to film, go film them flags up there. Where's that? On 107. Who did it? Somebody destroyed them? No, they're just shredded. They've been up oh. for so long, well, nobody took them down. Owner, then we can't do anything about that. It's on private it's, property? It's, it's, it's private. It's a private flag. The other one oh. probably is a town one, and I will get the Alan. One, the, one up, the further one up is... Okay. But why would you want to take an American flag down? It's shredded, man. Then replace it. It ain't my flag. It's everybody's flag. I don't like it shredded. Me neither. <laughs> now, are you filming me right now? I'm recording everything here. What for? You never know what's going to happen next. The veteran appeared very displeased with the auditor filming and unnecessarily escalated the situation. It's been right handed. I appreciate that. Where is he? Huh? Where's he where? I'm with myself. I'm not with anybody. <laughs> just a private citizen? It's just a private citizen, man. What are you filming it for? Are you going on TV or the internet or what? Um, uh, maybe. Could be. What's yeah. the badge mean? Um, it, you, I don't know if you, oh, you want to read it. I'd rather have you guys read it. Oh, man, don't touch me, please. Appreciate that. I'll hold it up for you. But... Shiny badge don't grant extra rights. Yeah. You like it? No, I think you're a nutcase. Oh, jeez. How's that? Okay. I could say the same about you. I wouldn't say it too much. Well, you, I wouldn't either if I was you. Okay, guys. Come on. I mean, he's starting this. Yeah. I'm just yeah, responding. I'm just what you're doing. Well, I don't think it's any of your business, like Andy. Film. The town clerk had to intervene as she tried knocking some sense into the veteran who eventually left the play. I don't think it's any of your business. I don't like your attitude, first of all. I didn't see ya. Yeah? You're going to threaten me now? No, I'm not threatening you. Yeah, it's all right. I'll take care of you. I will. Probably best you walk away then, huh? For your own good. <laughs> oh, I will. If you're welcome to, you no. Yeah. I know I can, but I'm not going to have people like that putting their hands on me. Okay, and then talking. The auditor continued capturing footage around the building before he saw Officer Kent from earlier who was leaving the place and followed him. Wow, look at that. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Today, we witnessed police officers being exposed on camera and getting the karma they deserve. It's genuinely heartbreaking to see law enforcement officers breaking the law and disrespecting law-abiding citizens. We hope these tyrants learn their lesson and never commit these crimes again. If you agree with me, please consider showing your support by liking this video and also make sure to subscribe to stay informed about future cases like these. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out the next video here.